chilling. Yeah, hope boy on. I'm coming real far. Looking forward to have a great mm-hmm. interview as always. Let's get it. And let's go ahead and introduce the special guest. We got a uh, leak no stall in the building. Yes, uh, Mr. Lit Forever. Lit forever. Mr. Lit Forever. I like that. Y'all be doing homework. Huh? Uh-huh. I thought y'all was gonna come in and talk about no stalling. Oh no 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 no. No, we definitely we definitely been doing our research because you know I'm I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. So. That's all right. We're going to jump right into it. Every show I always do, we do a mental health check-in. Mm. So what the mental health check-in is on a scale of 1 to 10, uh-huh. your mental capacity, your family, and your business. 1 being bad, 10 being good. So go ahead and start off. My mental, hold on, say that again. Your mental capacity on right. a scale of 1 to 10, your business on a scale of 1 to 10, and your family on a scale of 1 to 10. So I'm giving you three different numbers? Yeah. All right. My mental capacity... <laughs> It's probably like at a seven. Seven, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, life got its ups and downs. You know, I'm a soldier. Uh, My family, a nine. You know, I'm big on family. But, you know, everybody got their issues with their own family. You know what I'm saying? And uh, my business, at this point in time, I'm probably the most focused I've ever been. You know, so I'm probably going to get at a 15. Yes, sir. That means some more good music coming my way. I like to hear that. All right. Everybody on the panel going to make sure y'all do the uh, one to ten. So go ahead. Who wants to go next? Go ahead, Snoop. Oh, yeah, no cousin. You know, my grandma will be listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wavy Snoop, all the way from Brooklyn, New York. Okay, Brooklyn in the house. Yeah, but um, mental capacity, I'd probably say like, like an eight. An eight? I try to keep that, like eight and a half. I try to keep that top priority because if, if I ain't thinking right, I can't get nothing else done. Okay. Um, family, so like a 10, nine, 10. We keep that chemistry tight. Yeah. Anything go wrong, we just going to talk about it. We got it. Nip it in the butt right there. Iron All it right. out. Um, uh, what was the third one? Uh, family business. Business? Man, like, I was already in 10, but, like, the bros and the team just coming together, everybody locking in the same way. So I'm like, I'm going with Leak. Like, we're on the 15 right now. Like, okay. We, we love to hear it. We love to hear it. Yeah, we tighten it up. This is my right sandbox, now. too. I didn't know this man since a little kid. I was okay. supposed to be ganged up in this jump, but, you know, <laughs> Black people be, <laughs> you know, on <laughs> color people time. Yeah, you know, I'm supposed to have a few artists in. Okay, so what about you? Uh, mental capacity on a scale of one to ten. Family, one to ten. Business, one to ten. Mental capacity probably like an eight. Family, my family a ten. We tight. Uh, and business, we we more we more focused than that. We everything a ten. Okay. Okay. So, uh, how old are you? Because I'm in one of your songs. We're gonna. I'm. This is completely off topic, but in one of your songs, you talking about bag and shorties at Ernest. Ah. Uh, how old are you? Because we might have went to school together. I'm 23. 23. All right. So uh, when I go to Ernest, I think I went to Ernest in 09, 010. Oh yeah, you older than me. I ain't gonna you hold you though. I'm. I'm Ernest. I'm in the band. You know what I'm saying? I'm Ernest legend. Okay, I, yeah. I met him at Ernest. Yeah. Ah, man, I, oh, yeah. yeah, we deep out here. I, I went to Ernest and Flowers. Now, Ernest legendary, bro. Like, definitely is. A lot of people went to Ernest job like up. doing big things. Up, I'm definitely. Like, so let's go ahead and let's jump into the music. So how did you come up with the name? Leak No Stalling. I mean, for real, for real, it was my Twitter name because, you know, I was with No Stalling at the time. Uh-huh. And uh, I, w- I wasn't even a rapper. I was just supporting it. So, you know, I just threw my name, No Stalling. I started rapping. I ain't really want to think too hard of it. So that was my rap name. I just ran with it for real. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't nothing. It wasn't nothing. You yeah, know, we got the. I'm gonna go through the whole panel. The whole panel. I want to know. I'm gonna know all about y'all. So, how did y'all come up with y'all names? Um, the bros just probably just being young, the wavy part. But um, Snoop, my pops' name is Snoop. Okay. You know what I'm saying. So, as a shorty coming up, once I got probably like 13, probably a little, probably stuck like around there. Like okay. Probably stuck around there. Yeah. And uh, so, how old were y'all when y'all knew that rapping was? You know, it was y'all passion? Uh, I ain't gonna hold you. I, I started rapping for the attention. I ain't I ain't off bucks like rapping, but I kept going because people was like, you know, we had we had um, Fame Reek before mm-hmm. before you know I started rapping. So when I started rapping, you know, his his fan base was so strong because you know he was OD for real. Yeah, he was you going know, crazy. Yeah, his his fan base was so strong. People was like. You know, people was comparing me to him and, you know, saying I couldn't do this, couldn't do that. You know, I'm a Kobe fan. So, you know, okay. once I'm motivated, I'm locked in. That so that's really what happened. I just got motivated, you know, because I really just thought I didn't even like my music when I first started. I just did it because, you know, I was getting love. Word. That's the yeah, I, I was just trying. I was just trying to keep no stalling name alive, you know, because after the fame side rapping, we ain't really had no other artists. 
Yeah. Yeah. How, so yeah, how old are you when you knew that rapping was your passion? Um, I'm 23 right now, but um, I'm I'm fresh. I'm fresh in the music. I'm fresh in okay. the music. Um, this year, truth this be told, year. I was okay. always kind of yeah, behind. I was oh, always right. kind of behind the scenes. Um, I came out here, you know, as a young and probably like a year and a half, two years, and then I went back up north. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Like, we always stay locked in, you know, doing stuff behind the scenes and pushing them, pushing the bro. I, you know, trying to keep him focused, trying to keep him locked in with the music, and then just it got time. You know, we went in the studio and. I came back to the bros. I came back to the bros like, yo, let's try this. Okay. Okay, so, Leek, mm. you hit you with the number one question. So, I've <laughs> been a fan from day one when I heard Coop. That's all so, right. what was the process when you made Coop? What did, did you think it was going to be a hit off the gate for the DMV? Or was it like, you know, I'm just going to make this and it's going to do what it's do? No, nah, I definitely didn't think it was going to be a hit for real, for real. A lot of my, a lot of my music process is the same. I just, I just... I gotta be in the mood for. And I remember in Coop, I wrote it in the um, in the studio, mm-hmm. so I, it was just good vibes, and it was just like that type of energy. So it, that type of energy song came out for it. It wasn't really nothing where uh, it was a complicated process. It really just happened. That's really how all my music is. I don't really. I just write it, and if it's good, it's gonna go. If it's not, we gonna move on. I most definitely yeah. been recognizing that, especially in your recent freestyle that you did on YouTube. Uh-huh. I like your bar bar play. Yeah, you definitely. Oh, that, that new jungle, the new jungle is hard. The new one was definitely hard. Most definitely, and you definitely got away with words and basically showing your your fan base that you know it's okay to be hard, bro. Or it's okay yeah. to get through some. Pain. I like to be. I like to be transparent for sure. Most I definitely. like to show people I'm human. You know what I'm saying? I go through a lot of stuff that everybody go through. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. So that's, yeah, for sure. And I also see you definitely put God first a lot in yeah. your music. Yeah, you I know, definitely my, see My that. mother taught me that growing up, you know, so God definitely is uh, in my life. For yeah. sure. Okay, so how, uh, so was Coop your first record or? Heck nah. Coop, like. So how many, how many, how many, uh, how many songs did you put out uh, prior to that? Like four tapes. I didn't put out like four tapes before Coop came out. The, the tape that Coop came out, that was like the first tape I ever liked. Like, okay. Like I put out like full mixtapes. That's not that's not on morning after is this on uh what should we call it? Nah, everything on Apple Music is hard. Everything okay, hard. yeah. The Coop like spin really air. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, because yeah, I I remember it fall uh fall back was on, on Spin Rilla. Yeah. Uh yeah, going outro. is on I think going is on Spin Rilla too. Yeah, people love going. I yeah. hate going. Oh I, yeah, I no, that's it. my jam. That's definitely my jam. Nah, fall back is my jam. It's another one. There's a couple of them on it that I definitely uh bang with heavy. I'm gonna yeah. say outro would be my favorite. Yeah, outro, outro definitely a, a classic for me too. I think outro, in my opinion, I think outro was probably a little bit better than Coop, in my opinion. For sure, mm. I probably think so too. Coop is probably more like likable to people, but like I think for music fans who actually know what they talking about, mm-hmm. outro definitely better because like the sample, the flow, everything definitely a better hook and all that. Mm-hmm. Definitely. And all from right. the beginning when you hear it, we smoked it, we bought. <laughs> yeah. Right there, you hear it, and he's like, so. you know. He gonna get into it from start to finish. He uh-huh. didn't he didn't miss. Yes, sir. He didn't miss at all. Okay. Studio. Studio. Do you have any pre studio rituals? Do you know, since some people, you know, they got they real superstitious before they go in the studio. Some people they like to have a whole bunch of people in the studio. Other people like to have the solo type of thing. Other people gotta do twelve jumping jacks before hopping in the studio. <laughs> is there in, is certain things so you got any pre studio rituals? Nah, my only thing is like like I ain't gonna say I need it, but I love the liquor though. Like I love like this Doctor Rock. It put me in my yes, sir. Yeah, yes, get, sir. It get my it get my <laughs> vibes flowing where I can talk about anything or I can tap into any mood for real. But I can I can go in the studio sober. I really don't got nothing. I just gotta I just gotta have a beat. If I like a beat, I can really rap. On, I can rap whenever. Okay. So, yeah. What about you? <laughs> what about you? I definitely think um, that's probably what make us a little bit different. At least young artists, cause like. We're not really writing too much. We're really not wasting too much time listening to a bunch of stuff. Like, we really based off sound. Like, if it sound good, if we feel it, and we everybody check it off, we going with it. Okay. We, we, we going with it. We going to go just like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't think y'all ever do. I'm not even going to give y'all a mix. I'm going to give y'all an album. You man. think you do an album together? No, don't get him started, man. He been, <laughs> he been, he been, he been fussing me out. How about an album? Yeah. Yeah. Fussing me out. He, he been ducking me, man. I don't even want to talk about that on air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He been, yeah, he been fussing, but we definitely gonna work, man. Mm-hmm. We, we, we. I'm pushing him. He pushing me. Like, like I said, the team so motivated right My now. My man right here really need to get on air. This, this I'm about to bring this <laughs> man right here. How he just started rapping too. 
Oh yeah, bring, bring them, bring them all, bring them all. Yeah, yeah. I got another CT man here. The team is here. Yeah, I was supposed to bring everybody. I, I got like a few artists I'm about to come with. I got like Yo D O, my man Q Draco. Y'all probably you know he go here. Word. Yeah, he oh, go here. Real? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't know why it took you. I don't know why it took you. What, what, what took you so long to bring him up here then? He humble. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm gonna be chocolate. He not a he ain't rapper. Even, ain't, ain't never stopped by the station <laughs> out yeah, once, man. Yeah. Ain't nothing. No, you can't go. Ain't nothing up. Yeah. But y'all, he, yeah, he about to pop out though. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All them little showcases and stuff. The boys got talents. What happened? Where was you at? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, you talking about that? That's me. See, he was in the background. He was listening. He was yeah. paying attention. You sure? Yeah, I know this my man. No, for sure. That's why. Right. Oh, why? Right. But he really better go up there. So, how has uh, COVID affected the uh, y'all music? Has it made y'all more focused? Uh, nah. You know, I didn't call COVID twice. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Outside, I didn't call. T- I didn't call COVID twice. That shit, it ain't really because you know I ain't never really. I probably did like three shows in my life. Okay, so it was like it ain't really affect nothing. I've been working. I've been in lab. Probably the, the stuff I got coming out now. Probably my best stuff ever. Like it's it's like nowhere near the stuff I got out right uh, right now. So for real, for real, I, yeah, I can't even say that's COVID. That's just being in lab. I would have been in lab regardless. So okay. I can't even say COVID affected that. All right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it affected me. You know, I, I can't, I can't go to my grandmother's house like I used to, like out in New York and mm-hmm. stuff, stuff like right. that. But it don't affect the music. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you talked about uh, you done three concerts. So I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. Right. So how do you, have you seen yourself progress since your very first concert uh-huh. to the third concert? Uh, the first concert, I was drunk as heck. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying not to curse. You know, my <laughs> yeah, you know, grandma listening. <laughs> yeah. I was drunk, so it was like. I did anything. I was nervous, but mm-hmm. I, I got drunk because I didn't want to show it. You know what I'm saying? And then the second one, for real, for real, they all the same. I was just nervous, but if I go now, I'm confident in my music to the point where I swag it. You know, at first, because I'm not really a nervous person. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to when I was a kid, I used to do little shows with my grandfather. Like he used to tell stories and stuff, and he used to make me go out there. And I used to like, you know, what I'm saying I'm not really a nervous person. I'm used to the spotlight. You know, I always been a little. I always had. Uh-huh popularity in school mm-hmm. or friends and stuff like that so i'm not really a nervous person but when i'm not confident i could get nervous okay mm-hmm. so it's like now i'm confident in my music to the point where if i had a show it'd be a lot different than the first three but like the first three job like all the same i was just nervous i just went out and did it for for okay. so i heard you just mention your grandfather what's one of the what's one thing that your grandfather told you that keeps you motivated to this day oh some good advice uh See, my grandfather, a confident person, he he always used to tell me, "You black and beautiful, and you 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 know you legendary." So I like I get a lot of my confidence from him. I get a lot of my confidence from Kobe. I get it like so. It's like for real, for real. He just taught me to be confident. You can't really do nothing at your highest level if you're not confident in your craft. Yeah, for real. So for real, for real, that's yeah. He just he just taught me confidence for real. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, since you uh, best piece of advice and then also your worst piece of advice you've ever received uh, my worst piece of advice for sure is when I first start rapping people was telling me stop like singing stop using auto tune mm-hmm. and you know that was that was just stupid because you Dead. know I just wasn't as good as, as I was now so it's like I just had to perfect my craft but I'm glad I never listened to them I'm I'm just hard headed when people tell me not to do it I'm gonna definitely do the opposite so that's definitely the worst advice my best advice it's probably um my best advice is from this man right here <laughs> on God. I was about to quit rapping. I was about to quit rapping. My man pulled up on me. My man pulled up on me. He played me like endless music, but he played me one Pacific song. He was like, "You you you sound like you hungry. You sound like you you know they can hear the pain in your voice." Mm-hmm. And at the time, it's like I was about to quit because I wasn't liking my music no more, and I thought I was losing it. And, you know, he played me that. I went back home. I played the song. He played me like a thousand times. And then and I was like, yeah, you're right. I ain't made a bad song since. Like, and what was the name of it? What the song? Yeah, it was yeah. intro on Forever Lit. Okay, okay. Yeah, he all played right. he played me that joint, and he was like, yeah, you like he was like, yeah, you hear how you sound, blah 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 blah. You gotta sound like this. Mm-hmm. I was like, dang, you know what I'm saying? I went back home and I was like, I listened. I like was comparing songs because, like I said, I'm a Kobe fan, so I evaluate myself like it's sports. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, um, once I peeped that, it's like I figured it out, and I ain't. I'm, the whole tape is after he took, he showed me that my whole tape I got coming out. I don't got no date or nothing, but my whole tape I got coming out is right after he told me that. Okay, that's probably yeah, that's probably my best advice. And we, we all know you got a large catalog of music. 
Yeah, yeah he got he, multiple, yeah. multiple mixtapes. Multiple sure. singles is out. I probably got like I probably got like 150 songs not even out. <laughs> nah, <for> wow. <laughs> he got more songs in the cut than he do out. Yeah. Shoot. So which which one is your favorite song to record so far? My favorite song to record that's out? Yeah, that's out. Docs Rock. Docs of Rock? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Docs of Rock, my that I've been trying every 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 beat I hear, I be trying to match that vibe. Like Docs of Rock. As soon as I made that hook, I knew Docs of Rock was gonna be Docs of Rock. Like, okay. I think that's my highest streams. I knew it was gonna be that before I even put it out. What's the one song that keeps you, well, I'm gonna say inspired when you go in the studio? Like you can listen to it and you be like, you know what? I got I got another way I'm gonna do this hustle on this music. Um, I'm gonna have to say Docs Rock, but I got a couple more. Uh, Morning After for mm-hmm. sure. Um, only reason, only reasons on uh, the tape LF Nights. Mm-hmm. You know, I just like it because it's like so relatable. You know, like I said, I like being transparent. So any song that that is like can relate to me the most. I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a like that song the most. So I cause, so I love only reasons. Uh, I got a couple songs that's not out too that I can't really tell y'all. But I got uh, a release songs that I listen to to get me back. Go ahead, you can go ahead and slide that. You know, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. slide the link. <laughs> yeah, I might just do that. You know. So um, you I know Aaron, you wanted another question yeah. as well. So out of all the DMV rappers that you've worked with, because I know you work with a lot, and I know you've hung with a lot, who do you think is one of the most lyrical that could keep up with you? The Flock the Goat. Uh, <laughs> the Flock the Goat. I remember when I was like 16, 17, I did a song with Flock. I wasn't that good, though. Like, But I sat there and watched his process. It's like, it's fast. It's like he really come up with that joint off the head. You know what I'm saying? And... uh. Yeah, Flock the Goat. He just, he he way better than people even know. It's like Flock questions himself a lot, though. But mm-hmm. it's like, he, he he's really, he, he OD. Shout out to Big Flock. Yeah, One OD. of the pioneers in the DMV. Definitely, definitely, definitely. definitely. He don't even know he as good as he is, though. Yes. Even with all the love he get, he don't even know he as good as he is. Word? All right. So, who would you want to collab with? It could be lo- one one person, uh, it's a couple people you want to collab with that's local and some that's already in industry. That's going to lead to my question. Oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. We're on the same page. Uh, you, you local. Locked in. Local. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I like, you know, I like good music. So, it's like popularity. Popularity don't really mean nothing to me. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, I got a couple people y'all probably ain't heard of or heard of. I don't know. But uh, definitely my man right here, Q Drago. Uh, Yodio, Odog, Flop. Um, let me. Th- oh, my man Squirrely got this artist. His, his name like uh, NSK. Mm-hmm. He OC. He like 16, 17. He OC. I ain't gonna hold you. He got a couple songs on YouTube. If you want to do your homework, he OC. I'm telling you. Uh, who else? I'm gonna just go to the. I'm gonna go to uh, industry. Industry. My favorite artist is Drake for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. That, Drake is definitely yeah. top tier. I definitely want to do a song with Drake. I probably could say I like uh, Lil Reek. Mm-hmm. He he, uh, a boogie artist. Oh uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't he, think I have to do my research on him. He hot. I'm gonna do my research. Uh, who else? There's a few. I like the Rez Uh Man. It's a few. I can go on forever. You know, I'm a music fan. I've been you a like music fan. Yeah, <laughs> I like pain. I like trans like transparent. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I don't really. I just like pain. It's okay. like boom. It's like if you make music, it just got to be your real life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what you talk about. It just got. I gotta feel you. I gotta feel like that's really what you living. You know, whether it's gangster, whether it's partying, whether it's girls, whether it's depression. It just gotta be what you living. Okay. So if you had the opportunity right now, somebody called in the radio station. They said, "I'll sign you to any label you want to sign to. Hmm. Independent. Right now, who are you signing to? Top three labels right now. Top three is." CMG first one, <laughs> uh, QC two, uh, and then uh, Lift Forever Records. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely, got, definitely got your signs to your own label. Mm-hmm. So um, you was talking, we was talking about uh, labels and stuff. So we have a game that we I'm want to play real quick. So oh hopefully we got a little bit of water in our cups because you know this is college radio. We're not allowed to drink. <laughs> so can I get some old doc. Yeah, go ahead. He talking about water. He talking about water. <laughs> Dark water. Dark water. <laughs> so uh, it's the game is Fast 15. 
So I'm going to give you a couple of uh, questions. You got to pick one or the other. You could choose neither or right. both, but you're going to have to take a, a sip of the water. water. Uh, All right, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go. It's going to get easy. It's going to get a little harder. Say less. Say less. Oh, I forgot to mention Stax Gotti. Stax Gotti? Stax Gotti. Is uh, one of the people you want to uh, collab with? Stax Gotti. Okay. Uh, okay. First one is going to be Jay Z or Nas? Jay Z. Jay Z. Easy. Nas, Jay Z. Jay Z. Ho. Nas. What about you? Jay Z. Jay Z. Gotta Jay-Z. pick Ho. <laughs> What's the one you want to say? Nas. No, I'm talking about uh, oh, the, the, the both or either, like in the next one, the next question. Oh, all right, got you. Hi, he said CMG, Black Youngster or Money Bag? Ooh, Black Youngster, Money Bag. Okay. I'm on Black Youngster. Black Youngster really living like that. <laughs> I'm about them dollars, man. Money yeah, bag. Nah, Black Youngster really Money living bag. like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm with uh, him. Puffy, Puff Daddy, or Suge Knight as uh, music moguls? Puffy. Puffy did more. So you bad boy. Bad boy at death row? Puffy. Who more relevant? Man, that's tough. Um, that's tough. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Diddy though. I'm gonna go with Diddy because like boy. Suge Knight bad for business. I was just at the end of the day he did more positive. Somebody to yeah, he did more positive work. Yeah. You know he still you know he still Suge maintaining. Knight bad. So he hanging go people Diddy. out windows. Yeah, Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was a Millie Vanilli jump. Yeah, 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 you got it. You got to go with Diddy. Thank he you. bad for business, but I mess with Suge though. You gotta have some Sugs on your team. Okay, yeah, yeah, because you know he, he began to work. He definitely because yeah. what he did with his music was definitely monumental. Mm-hmm. That's what I was gonna say too. He had a lot of he had a lot of impact, whether it be positive or negative. He, you feel me? You can't take that right. away. Yeah, definitely. Um, you can't take that away. But I think I'm gonna go Diddy. I'm gonna okay, go Diddy. so we bad boy in here. <laughs> we bad boy. Two thousands hip hop or two thousand and ten. Hip hop. 2010. 2010. That's what Drake came. I don't know, man. Yeah, Wayne was, was like I don't know. I might have to go two thousands, man. Wayne had it. Wayne had it. Drake better yeah. than Wayne. Wayne I love it. Wayne. Yeah. Whoa. Wayne had it. Bro. I love Wayne. But look, Drake, Wayne don't really know how to make a song like Drake without a I feature. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know about that, bro. I don't know. I'm about that. You. We can talk about this for hours, so Come I'm going to just let man. y'all have y'all pick. I don't pick. know about <laughs> like, that. Really, like, because yeah. Drake really the GOAT. I ain't going to I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to give Drake him that. Drake can go R&B and compete with Brandy and them. No. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying if he wanted to, the creativity, no. the creativity, he, he already got, no. I love it, I gonna make me no. argue, the creativity, no. the creativity, you can't, argue. you can't pass by the creativity we ain't got, now you Wayne can't. is a goat, yeah, for sure, and, and he, he don't got sure. no ghost writers, and he was right. a teacher at the end, and who day. brought, who brought Drake in? Wayne, I did, but that don't mean nothing. To, the the teacher can, I mean, the student can pass the teacher, hey, can I tell y'all something real quick, okay, I'm gonna tell y'all something crazy, he's, more like Wayne than he is Drake, just for the simple fact that nah, he man. a rapper, but he could teach too. Mm. He could really teach, tell you what to do in there. Nah, tell you this sure. how it sounds. Because rapping, how rapping got a formula. You know what I'm saying? It got a formula for real. Like once you find out the formula, the words is easy. So it's like boom. That's why, Definitely. like, you know what I'm saying? Like th- that's why he's so OC for real. Because all I did with him is like I just told him the formula. And he listen. He go. He go back and treat it like a sport, like I do. Okay. Get that boom. Mamba mentality. Right. Sure. And then he'll come at the stew, and I don't even got to do nothing. He'll just go in there and just use what I told him. And it's like once you got the formula, the words is easy. You just talk about what you living. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You're a that's, coach, that's, artist, developer, right there. That's <laughs> for real. Go go or Baltimore music. Go go. Go go. go. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little biased. I'm from New York. I'm a neither on this one. And neither. So go ahead, go ahead, sip the, go ahead, sip the water. <laughs> I'm gonna go neither on this. Hey, one. y'all people, I've been drinking the water regardless. <laughs> <laughs> Say that. Yeah. Wait, people in Baltimore even listen to Go Go, so yeah. you can't even say. I don't Baltimore. know. Hey, look, when I be partying in Baltimore, they be jai like they be jai like you know tripping when Go Go be coming on. The, yeah, you they can't do. you can't you can't pass by the energy from either sides though. The yeah, energy and See, that I'm music not, is. I'm under. not your average PG dude. You know what I'm saying? I love B Mo. My mother from B Mo. Right, so it's some, like, it's some good parties out, B-Mo. Yeah, I got, so I got love girl. for B-Mo, but I'm going to have to pick Go-Go. Go-Go, all right. XIB or T-O-B? XIB. And you know, I don't even listen to Go-Go, but uh, why I pick XIB? Because I only listen to one song, XIB, Lay It Down. That's the uh, only Go-Go song <laughs> I like. It's for. crazy because the reaction <laughs> one, because it's two of them. Reaction was the one that made the big Lay It Down, but yeah. XIB had a really good Lay It Down yeah. as well. Yeah, nah, I, I think XIB is more everybody thinks of Wula when they think of XIB. Yeah, oh, yeah, I like Wula too. Wula, yeah. It's a couple go-go songs I like, but I don't like. I know people who really used to put that on their earphones. Mm-hmm. Not no, me. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Never me. A little, yeah. little bias one more time. I had go a guy, I had an auntie who was a uh, security for uh, what's what would you say? T O B, right? 
Uh yeah, XLB or TLB. Yeah, TLB. She was security for them, so I'm okay. He's gonna rock with it. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead, yeah. Go with them real quick. Shout out RT. <laughs> Shout out RT. DMX or Tupac. DMX. Tupac. Ooh. DMX. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna go Tupac, and I don't even DMX. listen to no Tupac. I don't listen to no Tupac, <laughs> but I'm going Tupac just straight off influence. Nah, DMX just straight off of uh transparent. Like he he what what you see is what you get with him. I do I do. Yeah, you gotta that's appreciate the same that. With, that's the same with Tupac, but it's like it's OD with with DMX. Mm-hmm. Like, he don't he don't care to show you his flaws, and I love that because that's like me for real. It's like boom, I show you the bad, the good, the ugly. You know, you just gonna have to accept me how I come. You I'm know what I'm say, saying? That's DMX for real. I'm gonna say pop. Pop. I mean pop. Pac talked one. about a lot of stuff that happened now back then. Right, yeah, right. yeah, nah, Pac a real sure. one. You That's know what I'm saying? But point. I'm still picking DMX. X did too, but X talked you know about it more on like on the street level. My like, man I, DMX I, was preaching on crack. I definitely <laughs> I most think, definitely <laughs> was. I think X <laughs> I think X was really telling his life story. You get what uh-huh. I'm saying? I think Pac was talking about stuff that just went over a lot of people's head. Mm-hmm. Like you ain't gonna see it till you till you gotta go through it. Or you're mm-hmm. not gonna understand this until it's you. So I think I think just simply off that. I think I'm gonna go with Pac off influence. For sure. Okay. I got one for him. Go Bone, ahead. Bone Thugs and Harmony or UGK. Bone. Bone, bone Thugs. Definitely Bone. Say, let me speak because I'm gonna go Bone. I'm bone, bone Thugs. But I ain't gonna lie. They Why? pioneers you, because they the first ones that are like, at least the first ones that I started. Because you know, before, let me tell you something. Before Drake and Chief, Chief Keith came out, mm-hmm. I only listened to old school like music. Mm-hmm. I ain't listening to no, none of that, like Ludacris, none of that. I was listening to like, <laughs> I was listening to Dougie Fresh, Michael Jackson, okay. uh, 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 you know, stuff, Slick Rick, stuff like that until Chief Keith and Drake came out. I just like got hip to them at the same time. But Bone and Bone Thugs yeah. Harmony was one of them. So it was like Bone Thugs and Harmony was the first one who showed me like melody on their songs, but keeping it gangster. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. It wasn't on no love. It wasn't on no like simp stuff. It was on some like you know keeping it, keeping it you know 100 for real. But they were singing it, yeah. so it was like I, I, I messed with uh, Bone Thugs. I could agree. I could agree. Um, I think Bone, Bone like. We seen Bone earlier, at, le- at least us. I seen Bone earlier, and I heard him. You get what I'm saying? It was different. But I can't not count the fact that I feel like UGK was rapping. Like, they was really rapping, and they was old. Yeah, you know, they UGK was old heads for me. They oh, was definitely. old heads to me, especially when I found out about them. But I'm like, oh, yeah, they could spit, and they from down south. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, they, and they definitely put the they south down, on the They map. put the south on the map. So as far as groups and, 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 and being able to have a team together and y'all all shine like that, I think they definitely some you know gotta be in that pioneer conversation. And I'm glad he said something about the South. I got a good one. Master P or Birdman. Master P. That's Ooh. easy. That's easy. Yeah, that's Master a good one. I'm here for the upset. I'm going Birdman. <laughs> nah, I can't go Birdman. I'm only gonna say Bur- I'm only gonna say Birdman. I'm only gonna say Birdman. I think um I think in the music, especially with the times being different, young you know, us we don't always get to see what was going on back then. So, you feel me? People going to make certain moves based on what was, you know, liable at that time. But um, I think he put a lot of people on. You can't, you can't deny right. that fact. Birdman he put too many people did on. too many wrong. Now, that's true. That's Master P, true. a real one. He didn't, he didn't live every black man dream. He didn't did everything. He did the NBA. First, After he, he, I, that's <laughs> how he was in the NBA. I said, well, he won. He won, right? Like, he, he won. won. <laughs> and then on top of it, Master P has touched everything. 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 Yeah, that, movies, everything he a clothes, hustler, too. like. He don't really he don't he don't put no limit to life and like that's how I want to live for right. like at the rap I'm trying to do like eight more he, things. Right. He is you know the definition of an independent artist. Nah, definitely. Real. Entrepreneur if you ask me. He, he, does, he, he the definition to the, of he hustle. He took it to a next level. Yeah, hustle. hustle. Like yeah, he took yeah. it to a next level like when music not even when music wasn't clicking. He just never let his mind stay. Right. And that's what we try to pride ourselves on. Like, all right, this is just a stepping stool. We got to go. Like, let's keep going. And who do you know plays in the NBA and drops an album and it's still his? Yeah, that's crazy. That's yeah. crazy. On Billboard. That's crazy. Oh, Billboard. Yeah. They told him, it's like, yeah, oh, you can't be. That's why he was in the NBA? Yeah. Wow. In the NBA. That's why he yeah, left that's it. Hot. That's, <laughs> why, wow. that's why he left the yeah, NBA. That's a league dream. He was yeah. in the NBA right now. Yeah, y'all know I was supposed to be an NBA player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to be. I broke my ankle. Shoot, <laughs> <laughs> say nah, I nah, for real. It's, yeah, he was with the. Uh, I think he was with Charlotte at the time. He played he, for Charlotte. Yeah. he played for the Raptors. He had. He was supposed to play for the Wizards, and yeah. nobody knew he was supposed to get drafted to the Wizards. It didn't happen. That's My when he. That's when he started that. coming up with the. Uh, he said he's still the mad movie. About that. That's when he came up with the uh, movie. No hook. Got the hook up. Okay. Uh, nobody even knew that. Businessman. Got yeah. the hook up came from him playing in the NBA. He traveled. He did something overseas. He saw it happen. That's OD. Nobody That's even knows that. 
That's ambition. He don't stop. He's still going. And he, still going. To this day. And he's got a uh and he's got his own shoe brand. Yeah, he do. That's, he do. He got his own everything. He put right. his son on, and his son sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 come on now. He put his son on. He good with me. He got designer shoes that don't even cost too much. No, no, no. Them just like three hundred dollars. They definitely no. they compared definitely. to like a, Versace, a pair of Versace. Bro. Yeah. What's think his, about what's that? I know. Shoes? I got uh, shoot. Miatis. Miatis. I ain't never heard and, of. Them. And yeah. he came up with that off of Ace Hood and them. Yeah. Word. When Ace Hood and them came Word. up, I woke up in a new Bugatti. He came up with Miatis. Mm. And he looked at the uh, Jordan he hard ones. For that. See, that's hustle. That's yeah. ambition. Hustle. That's on another level. Nah, you take the picture of the Jordan. But if you look at him, any Master P picture, that's all the only kind of shoes he wearing is his own brand oh, yeah. of shoes. Crazy. I he, never even know that. He either. a yeah. man. He ain't gonna put nothing. Nothing else. Yeah. yeah, he a business. Got man. his own noodles, chips. Yeah, he got everything. Uh, just, Pillows. I'm surprised, I'm surprised like he ain't got his own real estate he business. He do. He do. He do. Oh. He, he, oh, he, really? he be in real estate. I don't know if he oh. got his business, but he do do real estate. He in real estate. Oh, yeah, he in real estate. Real estate. Yeah. How, how you think Snoop Dogg got into it? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Now, I just show you if you keep your foot on the pedal, man, you're going to last. You yeah, keep your definitely. foot on the pedal, you're going to last. Stay adaptable. Most definitely. So, freestyling or rapping? Freestyle. I like both. Oh, what's rapping? Oh, man, not rapping. My fault. Freestyle or writing? Writing. I like both, but I definitely freestyle now. But I just wrote a song like, for the first time in years, though. And it's like one of my hardest songs ever, so I'm going to have to go with both of them. All right, you got to take a sip of the water. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I came in rapping. My I mean, I came in, um, uh, I came in writing. writing. I came in writing just because I was new and I, you know, I wasn't familiar with it yet. But we got in the studio more and more, and the bro's like, man, put the beat on it. Just see how you feel. I want y'all to know? tell him to stop being scared and get in the stew with me, please. <laughs> Please. I told you he was gonna start a war today. <laughs> like, I've been so ducking him. I've been ducking him. Yeah, I gotta drop the bomb for that <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, for real. Like he be blowing me. I think freestyling is, is it comes from the soul. Freestyling yeah, when an artist going going to freestyle a whole song and never miss, it's coming from their soul. This true. is something that they've been feeling all day. Mm -hmm. When true. it comes That's to writing, flat. writing is like writing is when. All right, I want me to get. I want to get my point across. You gonna know why I feel this way. I want you to know why I wrote this song. But freestyling, nah, you gonna feel my pain while I'm doing this song right here, and I'm gonna push it out regardless if you don't like it or not. Okay, podcast or radio? Podcast. I love. Po I'm about to start man. my own podcast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm about to, podcast. You know what I'm saying? Podcast. Like I said, I don't want to put no limit in me just because I'm a rapper. Don't think I can't start a podcast. I got both, so I'm yeah. with both. I'm trying to be on yours. <laughs> too, yeah, man. Now, yeah. Look, trust yeah. and believe it. We have um, the joint I do is at the underground lab. That's where we have like a live bartender and stuff. Like it's really a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. So you got to come on my podcast. I want to. I want to. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go podcast just because, I'm going to be honest, bro. The radios, like, they don't always mess with you how you think you want them mm -hmm. to. And you can't curse podcast. on podcast. And you can't curse it's on the radio. radio. You right. be having a ball on the podcast. Yeah, podcast, podcast yeah. a vibe. Yeah. Like, yeah. politicking and podcast getting your point across and talking to your peers and politicking and, you know. So I think I'm going to go podcast all okay. the way. All the way. Podcast. Podcast for you, too. You get more. You get Your podcast you get more on YouTube or something? Uh yeah, I got uh I did I got two so far on YouTube, two episodes. I got one with Quinn Cook and I got one with uh, a homegirl of mine. Okay, oh, yeah, you gotta give me the link to that. Yeah, okay. definitely. Yeah, yeah, send that. Dude. We be oh yeah, that. definitely. Yeah. I, just, I be making all my men be on what I'm on, so you know what I'm saying. Most of them be on it already. Team like, hungry. Me and bro be on the same stuff for. Real. <laughs> <laughs> no cursing. Yeah. Shout out grandma. Yeah, shout, shout out grandma. Out grandma. <laughs> shout out grandma. <laughs> Strip club or the regular club? This one gets hey, everybody. You know we on the strip club. <laughs> hey, we love lust. LF love lust. Lust in Baltimore. Ain't lie, ain't lust in Baltimore. Yeah, okay. Oh, then we you got to walk up the stairs. My girl gonna hate me for this. I don't got a girl. Oh, I got a girl, yeah, but I got a girl that's not my girl. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, yeah he got shorty. He got shorty. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like she can't mess with nobody. I probably, you know. I'm gonna go I regular club for sure. Regular club. Yeah, I'm but with the. I'm with please, the regular club. Regular club. The strip, club. the strip club make me frustrated. <laughs> nah, no cap. Club make me frustrated. No regular cap. Regular club. Regular club. <laughs> regular club. Too many <laughs> egos. Too many egos. <laughs> too many egos in the strip club. Yeah, I nah, guess. I ain't gonna too many. That, the strip club is like that. You gotta like. The club is too much flexing. Yeah. It's, and that's all it is. It's just flexing. See, the, the strip club, you really have fun. You know what I'm saying? If you go there enough, you don't gotta really throw money. 
You right, yeah. Oh, you right. there enough. Your first time, you gotta, you gotta make an impression. Yeah, you putting know. y'all on game, y'all yeah. Yeah. listen. Yeah. And y'all leak pulling up to sponsor, not throwing like bread. if you go there enough, you don't even got throw money. You, you know, they just go. They know you've been here before, and you yeah, know, they, you they already know back. you got money. Yeah, you gonna, yeah. They, they know you gonna come back and throw money. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So if you go enough, you might money, just be there for the chicken wings. You yeah. know, stadium, I'm stadium, having you. the good I, pasta. See, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, stadium wings, I like that. You know, but uh, yeah, definitely the club is a lot of egos up in there. It definitely is because everybody, and especially the shorties, is like if you're not, if you're not, if you ain't the table with the most bottles, all the shorties is gonna lead the table. It's all it. Nah, yeah, the club really just a flex contest. Who who looked the sweetest? You know what I'm saying? I might go to the strip club in sweatpants. You know what I'm saying? Like he is not lying. Yeah, yeah, like I might like go in sweatpants and a white tee. You got to tell him to get dressed. He yeah, yeah, I ain't no flashy <laughs> type. I ain't no flashy for real. Okay, I, I got, want. I got a real, I got a real, real hard question for y'all. Y'all Mount Rushmore of hip hop. Easy, I got this. Hold up. Your top four, five. I, I don't know how many people's up on I'm gonna Mount put Rushmore. Five, Cause that's easy. Yeah, I'm gonna put five. So Wayne, one. Okay. Great. Ho, cause he a billionaire. Um. Uh, Mount Rushmore, all time, all mm-hmm. time. All right, so boom, all time. So it was, yeah, Wayne, Drake, Hove. You gotta put Tupac on there. You gotta put Tupac on there because he's just so legendary. And then that fifth one, hard. Yeah, it was people getting stumped though. It's a lot of artists. That lot. fifth one, hard. But um, so you gotta think about album sales. Yeah. Lyrics, I ain't even worried about the album sales nothing. I'm talking about like this is my top five. I'm talking about influence though. Yeah, That's like what I'm trying to think on my life. Yeah. He got that melody. He got that. He, 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 mm. Nobody's touching lyrically. Who? Who? Who's touching lyrically? Oh, Biggie, yeah. Biggie, yeah. Pop. yeah, definitely Biggie. Yeah, Biggie, boom. Yeah. yeah. Just, All right, the five. We got the five. That's the five right there. It's Wayne, Drake, Hove, Tupac, Biggie. Okay. okay. Easy. What about you? You from Brooklyn, so I know you are gonna have some Brooklyn cats up there. Nah. He gonna put pop it's smoke. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah. nah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go all around. I'm gonna go all around. Um, especially outside of New York too. I'm gonna definitely. You gotta put Wayne in there. If you don't mm. put Wayne in there, you're not. You're not crediting that creativity. Oh, yeah, Drake, right? Um, oh, right. gotta put Drake in there. Got to. He took it to a different level. Especially, and he relatable because he, you know, he's younger. Um. This a this is this may be a stinger, but I gotta put Young Boy in there. Young Boy, I got okay. You. Oh, I got you. No, I got you. Lord, they know I'ma do it. What are you eleven? No, I'm. Hey, he legendary though. If Don't get me wrong. If, if y'all ask yeah, he, he, he has not missed yet. Yeah. The only reason why the the reason why I feel the, the the way I do about Pop is the same way I do about Young Boy. I just feel like they they influence what they bring to it, what they what they give you with their story. It's you can't, you cannot, you cannot credit it. Um, so I gotta throw Young Boy in there for third. Um, Hove gotta go in there. He, that Hove gotta go in there. Between that, everybody trying to understand that rapper hustler ratio, and, and Hove mastered that. You get what I'm saying? Um, um, five. Man, five. Um. No, it's crazy. Just for lyrics. And hey, this is your I top hope, five. I hope, and truth be told, this is not even somebody that I listen to on an everyday basis, but just giving them their flowers because I really hope that they end up on that route, Mount, uh, route, Mount Rushmore. I'm going to throw Cole in there. Thank you. Okay. Thank he's actually the first person. He's actually Thank the first person I heard to put J Cole in there. Yeah. Cole in there. The only person. That says something, bro. You gotcha. tripping? <laughs> <laughs> like come on. And J. I ain't gonna lie to guys. Hard, no, man. I don't even listen to Cole like that. You know, I'm, mm. I, I don't. Hard. But you but gotta put Kendrick before Cole. No. Uh, yeah. No. I, I agree. I agree with him. Kendrick know, gotta go before Cole. No. I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm not a J Cole fan know, at all. Yeah. I don't know, bro. That story is different. That story is a y'all, little different. Y'all that story is different. <laughs> yeah, they ruthless. Yeah. Y'all is ruthless. My today. five valid though, right? I give you your five. Thank like you. My five five valid. You with the young boy, and you yeah, gotta go. <laughs> nah, I gotta give everybody their flowers, man. I gotta give everybody their flowers. I gotta give everybody their flowers. I'll put young boy right now. Come on, man. Come on, man. Get that man his flowers while he here. Fan base don't mean nothing because so do Playboy Cardi. Facts, but 
Come on, man. Playboy Cardi can go Come number on, one at any boy. time. Playboy Give my man his flowers while he don't he say a word. Are we and it's joint number one. Yeah, he, number, he go number one anytime. He anytime don't say he a drop word. anything, right. his, we, his fan base is so, so I don't try OC. to. I don't. I don't no. Nah, nah, nah. Maybe, maybe back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, influence wise. Yeah. He opened up that door to For sure. music and everything is how gangsta. For sure. Understood. Nah, for sure. Understood. Truth be told, a lot of people really wouldn't, but you could really throw Soldier in a lot of influence conversations. Right, not no music, not no music though. Not look, 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 look no I'm music. saying not no music though, not no music, not no music though, not no music. But influence, you gotta get that man his flowers. If you do that research, Soulja that boy, boy winning. Dancer, but his music is not the one. Not, not it. You did the dance, you did the Aquaman, you did the Batman. I watched him do all of them too. Oh, I watched him. Oh, he that. did them. And he <laughs> recorded them. I watched them. Yeah. So. Soldier boy. I'm not even gonna lie. Never a nah, boy. Nah, no. I, no. Bro, no. being the first rapper on YouTube got to say for something. That okay, yeah. that's, that's good. Low, Unders- that's good. Understand that. Uh, that's good. Yeah, base guy, base guy. Ain't gotta be. be I ain't gonna lie. I don't really know. So y'all look like y'all know. I'm gonna let that go. <laughs> <laughs> Soldier boy. No, be the, the first rapper on YouTube. Straight, only an influence conversation, cause music is we is. But is let's no just point. be for real. Soldier Boy influence was just dancing. Nah, so, ain't nobody nah, care about that. Nah, 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 nah. In my opinion, to, the way he started flexing and though, every who, rapper start T Pain started ringtoning too. No, he didn't. All nah. I'm, being able Soulja to take, Boy. being able to. I give him that. I like Soulja Boy. Was Soulja Boy was I give him that. You know what I'm saying? I give Soldier Boy that. He an influence. Like people start copying him and start doing it better, cause Soldier Boy corny. But he definitely gave the formula. He d- oh, that, thank you. That's what I mean. Just a blueprint. Like yeah, being able to but not have so no. corny, though. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you don't want to give him that credit because he corny. Thank you. Know? you. But he definitely gave the formula. Being ahead of your time, you got to get flowers for that in some yeah. way, some fashion. You know, he was so, up on all, every trend before we could get to it. So we talking about ahead of people ahead of their time. Are we not going to say T-Pain was ahead of his time? Because now everybody using nah, I think he was just super talented. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I think he was just yeah. super talented. ahead of his time. I mean, he, nah, he is. Because, like, he was using auto tune. He can sing. Exactly. Because if I can sing, I'd be raw. I'd be, I'd be <laughs> auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love it. That's what they didn't know. T-Pain, actually, when he was with Fergie and them, he Tony Tone, you can come holler at the mic. Come on, that. Yeah. Tony Tone. Nah, that's fact. Yeah. They know their yeah. history. Too. I wish what it do, y'all? Y'all already know it's Tony Tone on the mic. What I say? What was I you saying? You talking about T Pain and C Pain? Oh yeah, so yeah, nah. T Pain when he first came out, when he was with Fergie and all of them, he did not know how to sing. He had to take singing lessons, and that's why he used auto tune, and that's why he had so much backlash because nobody was really messing with it. Everybody thought it was weird. It was a different sound. After the fact, he went back and did his. He took his singing lessons. He did an acapella of, um, I think it was Buy You a Drink. Mm-hmm. He did. He, he did performed the acapella and let everybody hear his voice for the first time, and that's how that went. He never could sing before though. That's crazy because he can sing like now. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. Like crazy. Once a month, I go to T T Pain acapella match. He he done did like he do all his songs uh-huh. and he sing acapella on YouTube. Mm-hmm. That video I listen to that Word. once a month. Yeah, yeah he's Because yeah, only uh, now nah, I've never heard it. Cause only it's when I know OC. Because I know uh, Tory Lanez was doing it. Tory Lanez OC. Uh, thank you, thank Lanes you. Somebody, hard. Yeah. Lanes is hard. Lanes is yeah. hard. Yeah. There, there you go. Because <laughs> everybody be hating on me for liking Tory Lanez. I'm like, look. I know I like Meg. You know what I'm saying? Don't bash me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know the truth, so I'm just going to not pick a side. Meg, yeah. Meg is good. Do y'all think Chris Brown was a big influence in Yes. I, was, I yes. didn't want to say it because I thought it was going to bring up. I wouldn't say influence. It was going to bring up too much. Yeah, I wouldn't say influence. Nobody copying Chris Brown. What you mean? When we was going, he taught everybody how to mack and how to go smack at girls. Not me. I don't know. I was not. I was not pop locking and dropping in front of no shorty. Yeah, maybe the last <laughs> thing. Yeah. A lot of people not gonna give those flowers. I'm not pop locking and dropping in front of no shorties. He a legend. He a legend. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not pop locking and dropping. He a legend for sure. Yeah, he a legend though. He a legend. He, he should have never put five hands on B. Let it go, let it go, Lee. Let it go, Lee. Let it go, Lee. You never did that. Let it go, Lee. I still wish you. Hey, hey, Rihanna, you should have never put hands on him, too. (laughs) Oh, double uh, let it go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait. That was a girl that said that. (laughs) (laughs) So look, so look. So look. How about this, right? How about nobody puts their hands on nobody? How about Thank you. you. If you're going to hit, you go. respectfully, if you're going to hit somebody, but man, expect dollar. to get hit back. If go she put hands on you, leave her. Just leave her. Just, Just walk leave away. Her. Just yeah. walk away. Right. You know? Because you, you going to be the bad you, guy at the you. end of the day. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be the bad guy at the end of the day. Don't yeah. do it. Don't do it. You said, <laughs> you said top five in R&B? 
You talking groups or you talking about just single artists? Nah, just single artists. I got a top five R and B. Okay. All right. All right. I got a top five R and B. Yeah, yeah, you know that's my that's I'm a music fan. Yeah, you go. What's the top five R and B then? Let Snoop go first. All right, um, top five. I'm gonna definitely throw Chris in there. All right. This might be a shocker too. I'm throwing Trey in there. Mm. Oh my he god! So you hard. like love yeah. making people, bro. Right? <laughs> I was humping the pillow. <laughs> 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 he like love making music. Yeah. Hey, a lot of I don't people don't know him. Trey really could rap too. So yeah. Word? I was yeah, I was in tune early with Trey. Um, He's some trash. Now. See, I, I got I, did, I like the '90s R and B. Look, I'm gonna give you another another one who was really more so his flowers for being behind the scenes on a lot of people's stuff that people don't know. Neo in there for me. Mm -hmm. Neo Thank in you. There. Neo in there for My me. top five way better. Neo in there for me. Um, one more. Damn, I got I got I got to throw a lady in there, don't I? Yeah. Um, yeah. Now nah, I'm gonna probably go like Mary. Yeah. Mary, but yeah. Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Blige for sure. She was a big influence. Um, and last, I like Mary J. Yeah. Okay. You know? yeah. All right. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you my five. Give me Erica Badu. Okay. Give me Jill yeah. Scott. Okay. okay. Give me uh Lauren Hill. Okay. Okay. Give me. <laughs> give me. Hmm. I got what three down? Mm -hmm. I got two more to go. All right, I'm gonna throw two males in there. Give me. I don't want to give you no names. Keep sweat. Oh. Keep sweat. Right. Um, oh. Avant. Five. Oh. Hey, Avant okay. is tough. He just didn't have that much work to me. That's the only reason why. That's the only reason why. But because him and Tyrese was the last two. Don't ever put Tyrese with no Avant, bro. No. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Shorty had a voice. You heard? Shorty had a voice. Hey, ask the ladies. Ask the ladies. Ask the ladies. Uh, all right, we got some. We got some. Hey, look. All right, we'll bring the ladies over here. Ask the ladies. Come on, come on. I'm done with him. Come on, ladies. Come on, he said ladies. I'm done with him. Done hey, with him go after, ahead. After Tyrese was crying on Instagram. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> nah, for real. All right, so all right, lady, what, what's your top five on R and B? Of like right now, or of like all time? All time. This is your Mount Rushmore. Okay, probably Mary J. Blige. Ooh. Okay. Um. Keisha Cole for sure. Keisha. Um, I I was about to say <laughs> I was about to say Summer Walker. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Not Summer yet. Walker. I love Summer Already? Walker. Already? 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 Summer Walker. Thank you. Already? Thank you. Don't let them take that away. Thank you. Already? She's she not scared to talk about what she's going through. At all. That make, that make she going to name drop and everything. Oh, then we yeah, gonna, gonna then we can say LMA too then. Nah. Nah, LMA. Wow. Y'all are trashing some folks. <laughs> LMA voice is amazing. Thank you. Amazing. Yeah. She has singles, but she don't got no classic albums, so she can't be a legend for real. You got to have, have a body of work. Y'all are like, trashing some people's names out here, yeah. and it's hey, ridiculous. Man, look, we, we said what we said. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Usher I'm, influence. I'm hey, Everybody. Chris got it from Chris, Usher if you ask me. Exactly. I didn't want to say it. Hey, I was going to let that go. What'd you say? I was going to let that go. I was going to let that go. Come on, Kelly, man. Don't play with R. Kelly. I'll beat R. Kelly up right now. Right now. Beat him up, but I'm still listening to his music. Oh my! Oh. That's, that is the girl. That is the girl that said only. Only when we clean it up on stop Sundays. Y'all got to listening to Boosie's interviews. All right, leave Boosie <laughs> out of here. <laughs> nah, for real. Shoot, y'all ain't gonna have us be a voice that we get you to boycott it, bro. I'm good off R. Kelly. I was in yeah. denial for the longest till I seen the, the, the documentary. Video. Yeah, the documentary was. The documentary, I'm like, shawty. I've been defending you for years. You, but you, you, may, been you. you may even get a pass when he come out. See, I know. That's the only junk you're going to get a pass on. Nah, when I'm looking out. away. Yeah, I ain't going to be boycotting like, hey, me. Meet me in my bedroom. <laughs> yeah, no. Don't cancel me. Ain't nobody I'm care about no R. Kelly now. Like, I'm like, Bro, bro. bro. So, so you telling me? I went past my grandma's house last week and I heard her cooking to it. Oh. So you gonna be at a cookout? Grandma, 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 so, so you gonna be at a cookout and tell the news? Grandma don't watch the news. Shut, shut that usher off. Put that R. Kelly on. As soon as he cut it off, this is what everybody gonna do. Who told him to do that? Nah. 
It depends on the age of the no. other ones. Yeah, right. You definitely my right. My mom still like R. Kelly. Yeah. No. You know, I ain't gonna give her name out. But she's still like. She played him on a Sunday too, bro. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he, yeah, he, she had a double blessed album. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Pass. All right, so let's get back into the music real quick. Yeah, so you, <laughs> we got distracted for a minute. <laughs> it's a flash fifteen. It went for a flash fifty. Nah, for real. <laughs> All right, so you have you said you have like hundred fifty songs already out, right? Already out. Yeah, like cause yeah, you, got, you got got, like yeah, about that. Yeah, cause you got at least out? off it's of like spin, sixteen every tape. I probably got like seven tapes. Yeah, it, plus Spinrilla, plus Spinrilla. Yeah, I ain't that good at math. I got like three tapes on Apple Music. I bought four on Spinrilla. It's about fifteen on each one. Okay. Like Where my one. math majors at? Because yeah. I'm a con major. We don't do math. Seven. What's 15 times seven? Seven times 15. What's 15? Yeah. It's 100 easy. 15, yeah. Out. That's out. 105. Oh, close enough. 105. And I got about like 200 out uh, already. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Easy. So you have this body of work already. Right. So how do you pretty much figure out what song goes to video? Right. Uh, These guys. <laughs> Cause I I be so biased, you know. I be thinking everything hard, or or I might be so hard on myself where I don't like something, but yeah. they tell me like, nah, bro, they gotta hear this, like, boom. Yeah, cause so I just do. All I my favorite songs ain't on video. I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. He go off more what he like. He feel like Yeah. I don't really go off the fans. Right. That's my problem. Okay. I need to though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I hear him be like, "Hey, new check on my. Which one you want to see? Go put the video." Yeah, yeah. And let I'm on that like. now though. But at first, I'm like, "Nah, y'all don't know nothing. I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all need to hear." You know <laughs> <what I'm saying? laughs> so, but nah. But yeah. So yeah, like um. Yeah, these guys for real. That's okay. The, the yeah. Best. Cause I'm still waiting for Fallback to be on on. Uh, you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? <laughs> Stuck in my way. Still ain't still ain't no video oh, for that come out yet. So I'm like, ways, I didn't even know that jump was gonna go up like that. Oh yeah, no, that's one of them. Yeah, the, 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 everybody in this room knows I play that song yeah, on a no, daily. That's, that's a that's a all all the hey, guy during time. You know Jay Guapo? And uh, no, nah, I don't. I gotta do my research. Oh uh, uh, yeah, so Jay Guapo, like he big out of New York. I when I moved, I had uh, I had got kicked out of my mother house, and I had moved out of New York with my father, right? And Jay Guapo and them had knew me already. They out of New York. They whole hood knew far back. Like word for word, word for word, I do too. Word for word, <laughs> too. you know what I'm saying? Like nah, that jump real. really doesn't put me out in New York. Like fallback is really one of them ones, and I thought it sucked. I didn't even want to drop it. I just dropped it because everybody else was telling me to drop it. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. On the 200 release, unreleased songs, I'm just gonna pick them and be like, yeah, which ones you need to be? I'm gonna be like, yeah, that one. Because all the ones you be saying that, you, that suck are my favorite jams. Now, when I leave here, I'm gonna see you something. You definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna see you something. Y'all gonna be sick and freaking tired of me now. <laughs> it's over for y'all. Now, when I leave here, I'm Shoot. gonna see you something, bro. You're not yeah. the only one. You're not the only one. He Shoot, got so I much stay bumping it. Now, Trust me, believe work. me. A third work. of your plays is probably from me. That's right. <laughs> no high. cap. Love. So how does it feel that um, people know your songs word for word? Um, it's humbling for real, for because you know I don't, uh, I ain't never really feel like I ain't never really get that rapper love. Like people, people mention me, people, people say something when I'm out and stuff, but like I ain't never really get that rapper love. So every time I meet somebody who know every song, or like boom, like like Shawty, I be I be messing with her little moco side. My like they treat me like Drake. Word. You know what I'm saying like Mocos treat me like Drake to be humbling. I'd be like, what the heck got along? Like, you know what I'm, <laughs> I'm just leak. You know what I'm saying? Why you think I'm famous? You know what I'm saying? So it, I still ain't used to it for real. I still feel normal. Cause like I said, I'm used to, I always been, like, I ain't trying to be cocky, but I always been popular. Mm. You know what I'm saying? In school, I always had attention cause I was class clown. I was funny. I was, you know, girls and, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it, I'm big. Shorties was always there. Yeah, I'm talking about there. they always was there. <laughs> so it's like I'm 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 used to that, but it's like when people treat me like a, a rapper, I still be like, you know what I'm saying? I still I don't, I don't be used to that for real. So it's always humbling, you know. You know, like I still I I probably just send somebody some music when somebody show me that type of love just cuz like I'm not used to it. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's all it always make me happy. It always make me like feel like I'm something or, or like I ain't gonna hold you when in times where I be like ready to quit or times where I be down, somebody always would text me and be like, bro, you know, you you done got me out of this situation or or bro, I used to listen to you when I went through this, you know, and that that type stuff make me keep going. 
you know what I'm saying? So it's it's always humbling when somebody know my stuff word for word or or that type fan for real, for real. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead, Arnold. See, now that he say that, he don't know how big of an influence this is. <laughs> I was listening to him when I was in school. I got put on a lot of belli- a lot of belligerent nights with the top down. It's Jones been blasted. Look, look, let them know, man. Let them know. A lot of nights, a lot of nights. We be something. drunk as a mug. We just be rolling around top. It's down cold outside. Ain't matter. We got our coats on thugging. Your Jones blasted. <laughs> For real. <laughs> hey, my earphones just went off. Oh, uh, you probably you probably turned it down. It's a little knob right there. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. It, 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 it happens a lot. Yeah. So, are you got a question? Like, you know, I, I listened to you like, right. since I was in high school. I just graduated probably two two years ago. How old you is? I'm 21. Oh, okay. Just turned 21. Okay, okay, okay. So I've been listening to him ever since I started high school. So to that's let you right. know, that's how big of an influence you got on the youngest. Uh-huh. Just to let you know that. All uh-huh. right. Um, my question is like is, a fan meet and greet up in this job. No, I told you though. I told it's you. like a fan meet and greet. I told you when you told Shoot. me, hey, I'm interviewing Lick No Style. Like, hey, I gotta meet him because like, I heard him in high school. I gotta talk to him. I got to. I got That's questions right. for him that I'd probably I thought I'd never even meet him in public. So I'm like, oh yeah, I got an opportunity to talk. Go ahead, let the go ahead, let it rumble, man. I, I so said, right. go ahead, do your it's thing. It's one of my questions I always wanted to ask you. What is your process when you drop your album? Uh-huh. What's your following process on the albums that you get ready to put up next? And why do you feel like the following album you about to put out is the right one? Sheesh. Uh, boom. You know what's crazy? Any every album I ever put out, I never paid for promo. I never post that shit. Oh my bad, grandma. <laughs> I never posted a lot. I probably post it and I just repost what people repost. You know, because I got pride. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I ain't never really want to act like a rapper because I ain't want people to think I was. Oh, he think he all that. Or he think he this. He think he that. You know, I wanted people to just lift me up. You know what I'm saying? But it's like with this rap stuff, it's like if you don't if you don't take it serious, nobody else gonna take it serious. They gonna take it as serious as you take it. So it's like with this go round, it's like boom, I'm 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 a, I'm gonna pay for the promo. I'm a promo. I'm gonna put it in your face. It's like with this 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 go round, I'm really I'm really taking it serious. I'm I never been consistent. I don't know if you know, but every time I I drop an album, I go in the cut. Yeah, you know what I'm you saying. Disappear for yeah, a I dis- while. I disappear. You know what I'm saying. I know that. So yeah. boom, it's like this time I'm not. I'm about to get. I'm not going nowhere. Okay. You know. So with this time, it's like y'all ain't gonna have no choice but to know that I'm different. Like, you know, I don't want to be cocky, but I in my head I'm really the goat. Right. You know what I'm saying. So it's like this go around. I'm really about to show y'all that I'm the goat. You know what I'm saying. It's like boom. It's like if a basketball player tell you he the goat, but don't drop forty, is he the goat? You no. Know, like if he don't drop forty consistently, is he the goat? So. So it's like this time around, I'm about to show y'all like it don't stop. I can do this whenever. I can do this. It ain't never gonna stop. Like this is really in my blood. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So what separates you from the rest of the rappers in the DMV? Uh, humble, just all based off this interview. Humble. Humble. I'm definitely humble. Uh, I definitely, uh, I definitely uh, feel like I don't rap like nobody in the DMV. You know what I'm saying? I never really listened to a DMV rapper and was like, I want to sound like that. I, I compare myself to Drake, Lil Baby, like, you know what I'm saying, Lil Dirk, like, stuff like that. I don't really, I ain't trying to be nobody in the DMV. You know, I'm tr- I'm comparing myself to who living the life that I'm trying to live. People in the DMV, they, they still in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to be that. You know, I, I, I was blessed enough to, you know, I know a lot of people who, you know, like, I grew up with, I don't know if y'all know, but, like, uh, Squirrely, you know, certain people, two hypes, people like that who, like, they really lit in the DMV. Mm-hmm. So it was like, boom. I grew up with that. So it was like, I was able to watch that. So it was like, the people I look up to, they way bigger than them. But it's just, So it's like, boom. It's like, what I'm trying to say is like, I feel like people in the DMV, they just want to be lit in the DMV because that's, that's what they see. That's what they see. But it's like, I grew up with that. I grew up with the people that's lit in the DMV. So it's like, the people I look up to, I'm, tr- I'm looking up to Drake. I'm trying... I'm trying to have a house like Drake. I'm trying. I'm trying to live like little baby. I'm trying. I'm trying to take in my fam, take care of my family like Meek Mill, you know stuff like that. So it's like, when I make music, I hold myself to a standard. So it's like where these people, where my men would tell me like, oh this crank, but I know it don't crank to the point where I'm trying to get it to. So it's like, I think that's why I separate myself for the rest of the DMV because, cause like you know what I'm saying. I just hold myself to a high standard. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be the greatest. 
Listen. And like at least the greatest in, in the DMV for okay. right now. You know, when I get in the industry, maybe we can talk about it in the world. But for right now, I'm trying to be the greatest in the DMV. I don't know what happened. So how do you, uh, since we're talking about our cities and stuff like that, how do you feel about the young doll situation? What? Truthfully. That whole situation. Yeah. I was, look, I, I wanted to get everybody all nice and, you know, comfortable. And you're going to hit it with the, so how do you feel about artists dying in their own city? How do you feel about the whole Young Dolph situation? So it's definitely sad. It's a sad situation because Young Dolph had his impact on his city, had his impact on the environment. But uh, the way I look at it, you you get what you get out of life. You know what I'm saying? He was beefing. He was making songs. He was making songs and in, in, antagonizing the beef. Mm-hmm. So in that case, I feel like if you beefing, you gotta act like it. You shouldn't be in your hood at a cookie at a cookie store by yourself with just your family. If you're gonna be in the hood with your store, you should be with enough people who can protect you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's a sad situation. But at the same time, Young Dolph know what what life he in. He know what he got himself into. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the message that people should get from that. At least the people who are in rap, I feel like people should know. Like if you beefing, you gotta know. Like you know what I'm saying. Life is short. If you beefing, it's people out here with nothing to lose. You know what I'm saying. Like them, them people who did that to bruh, they got nothing to lose. You know, they went broad day in a cookie store and did what they did. So mm-hmm. it's like, it's like I don't want to say like, I don't want to say they wasn't wrong. You know what I'm saying. But I'm like. I feel like Dolph was more wrong because, like, he know what he in. Mm. So you shouldn't be in your hood at a cookie store by yourself like that. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, it's definitely sad that that stuff got to get like that. You know what I'm saying? Because like, yeah, life get ugly. And, like, that man's still a father. That man's still a husband. That's mm. That man's still an uncle. That man, you know what I'm saying? Brother, that man's still a son. son. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's definitely sad that he got to get like that. But at the same time, it's like when you pick the life that you in, you gotta you gotta act as such, you know what I'm saying. Regardless of what you choose, you gotta act as such. So it's not like it was a it was the innocent getting 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 killed that day. That man that man knew he was into. That man probably did what he. That man then probably had his own dirt. His own dirt in that beef. Right. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So it's like why are you why are you moving like that? Like you untouchable. Ain't nobody untouchable. Only person untouchable is God. So it's like you know what I'm saying. It's sad, but you know, I feel like it, that that was on him. And with him saying, my fault, with him saying that he's trying to tell to the youth that it's more than life than you trying to prove that you go hard. It's yeah. more than life to trying to say, hey, I'm tough. It's more than life to say, yeah, I'm from this block. You can be from the block, but you could also be from the block and be rich. Mm-hmm. It's a bigger picture out here. You competing not just with your hood, you competing with the world. Yes, There's a million of a million of us that got this same vision, but only one out of a million get chosen so it's up to you whether or not you want to keep the same stupid same stupidity you on right now or whether you want to embrace hey i can make change mm-hmm. it's a difference okay he on his dr umar definitely i think he definitely and it's changes it's changes that he definitely made but um i'm gonna just go out and like i almost gotta agree with leak like first and foremost i'm gonna be honest bro you reap what you sow you're gonna reap mm. what you sow whether it be the, uh, a, a day later or a hundred years later if you're doing dirt it's gonna come back one way or another you get what i'm saying um i think i think um even with doing that much helping people you could still do all of those things but you can't think you too big you can't never be too hey. big you can't you, never you come you. from a certain place you wasn't born where you at right now mm-hmm. so for you to you know miscalculate so to speak or just you know Think that this just not that day? It's oh, it, it could always be that day. And you it can could, always, be, always be that day. You could always anybody could get replaced, but just more importantly, just want more for you. Right. You feel me? I I, I want to stay true to myself definitely with this rap rap stuff, but I'm also gonna know that I chose to be a rapper, so I gotta move accordingly. I gotta change my life based on what I'm trying to do. What I'm you know, and when you're that big, you just you know you can't afford to take those type of risks. More importantly, risk reward ratio is big with me. Okay. And going in the cor- you know, going in the bodega, or going in the corner store, you know, for the sake of keeping it real or the, for the sake of you know trying to show face ain't worth your life. Mm. I got I got cousins out in New York who don't even ride the train. 
No, that's you know real. Saying? That's Cause real. Because they, they know what come with it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They, they know what they in. DC the real. same way. It's, it's yeah. certain stops. You know, you certain stops on the you know? on the on the lock. You can't be oblivious. You can't be oblivious. And if they do ride the train, they know what might happen. You know what I'm saying? So it's like certain stuff you just know you can't do because of the life you chose. You know, if you didn't want to live like that, you should have been, a, you know what I'm saying? should have been a civilian. But don't get it wrong. You could change. You could really change. Yes. But at the end of the day, you, you got to calculate for all that. Mm -hmm. You got to calculate yeah. for all that. You do at the end of the day. And you if know. you got a better way to get out of the hood, do not try to go back and go be like, back. I want to be with the ones that's, that's that. doing it's it. It's a mentality. It's your ego at the end of the day. If you know you who you say you are. Do you can send that. that. You can send those that stuff. You can send that food drive to to where you want to be at. Mm. Right. You are the breadwinner. You can't afford, mm. like I said, you, it's risk reward ratio. You know, yeah. just to say that you was there ain't worth not being here now. Now, I know, like you know what, all this I think do it right is like little dirt. You know, he may lose people, mm -hmm. but he know what life he in. He don't put himself in a situation where he, where he had to do that. You know what I'm saying? Any situation he come, I mean, he get in, it come to him. He don't put himself in it. Right. Like, just like how people were just ran in his house. You know, you can't stop stuff like that. Mm. But he not going to be in a hood chilling at the corner store because he know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you know what you into, you got to you gotta move a certain way. That man just stay with his family and with his girl. Right. Because he, he know in the studio 24-7. And he be right. in the studio. He try, he try to grow 24-7. So it's like when you know what life you into, it's like, you gotta move. You gotta move accordingly. All right. Go ahead, go ahead, Tony. Tone. You said you had a question. Uh, oh, just speaking on the young Dolph situation. I just know overall. I just feel like he got too comfortable. He got yeah. to a point in his life where he was too comfortable. You know, he felt like he was okay. He he's in his neighborhood where he grew up. He can right. drive down the street, go get some cookies for his mom, and mm -hmm. ain't nothing gonna happen. And that's not the case. It's just unfortunate though because I feel like we saw this happen with Nipsey Hussle. Right. Nipsey yeah. Hussle was too comfortable. He got shot. He got killed on his block on in front of his block. store. Own, you know what I'm saying? He owned, owned the block. He owned that block. And he was so powerful in the hood. Like, nobody, like, he felt like he could not be touched. He got too comfortable. And a man was able to run up on him three times. Mm -hmm. Nobody around him had guns, nothing. Like, it only, it only took one person to change that whole scenario. Comfortability is like, like you said, when you come from that lifestyle, you got to understand what you, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. You can't get comfortable out here. You got to move smart. Exactly. And I feel like, Nipsey also boom, you can have a store in your hood. But it's like if you know that's where you come from and you know how people get down around there, you shouldn't even really be around there. Right. You should have a, a person under you that's that handling that. At least stuff. with Nip. He yeah, should have never the, been by himself when nobody exactly. wasn't dog. That's what that's what got you him the killed. ticket. You, you the know? ticket. You gotta act as such. Like you know what I'm saying? You see, so you, see like, you see the white people don't do it. The white people be having them big old security guards and all that if the, you know, if uh the white the white movie stars and all that had the security guards no white. You know, right for real. Not even just that. Look, look at Rick Ross. Rick Ross comes from, I think he's from Miami, right? Yeah, he he's from yeah. Miami. Do you see Rick Ross standing <laughs> around a bunch of people nope. in the middle of the hood talking about okay. something? Yeah, I'm standing with my wit or my warty. Nope. No. A lot of black people downfall be they pride. They don't yeah. want people to think. They don't want people to think that they scared to go to the hood. It's not about being scared. It's about but you smart. not invincible. Yeah, you gotta be as smart. Like I don't care how big you get, I don't care how much money you get, anybody can get killed. Can't you ain't you can't dodge a bullet. Very mm -hmm. true. You know what I'm saying? Very true. So it's like it's it's pride be our downfall. It's like ain't nobody trying to seem like a ego. sucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, ain't nobody ego. trying to seem like a punk. So it's like boom, they gonna go to their hood. They gonna go to the you know what I'm saying? It's you know, that's why pride. I mess with Meek Mill sometimes. I feel like he 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 just like get at the get that image where it's like He's showing people is 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 more than life than being gangster. Sometimes you got you got to be smart. You got to take care of your family. Yeah. Sometimes you got to eat French fries in the pool. You know, you know that's what I'm saying. saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, like that's what I'm saying though. <laughs> nah, it's just he just show he showed the 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 the, pur the purpose of it. Mm -hmm. purpose. You're not rapping to just be a rapper. You yeah. rapping to help your situation, yeah. Yeah. help not, your it's, family. It's you, not 1989 no you more. You get what I'm saying? Right. It's not. So and like when you get them advances, when you get them contracts, when you get them deals, you gotta take that and go. Mm -hmm. Take your people and go. Take your people and go set up something better. You get what I'm saying? The people who you know can't check their ego the same way. Sometimes they gotta pay for it with their life, unfortunately. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're gonna talk about. I got a question. So. When rap is all said and done, you retire from rap. What is one lesson that you want the people to take away from your music? I'm asking both of y'all that question. One lesson is, 
um, you gotta be yourself. You 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 gotta accept. You gotta accept the good, bad, and ugly. Like I said before, it's like one lesson from my rap is like boom. Is y'all y'all gonna see y'all gonna see soon? You know, cause it's, cause I told you I'm about to flood you. I'm never gonna I'm never gonna ghost again. So boom, it's like you gotta accept the good, the bad, the ugly. You know, everybody human. Everybody got their flaws. Everybody got their pros. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you got to take that in. Uh, you got to, you know, you just got to take it like a man. You got to accept your flaws and you got to understand that you, everybody got flaws and you got to uh, improve. You know what I'm saying? So it's like once you realize that, that you that you're not perfect, you know, you on a, you on a good track because it's like once you realize your flaws, that's the first step in improving. You know, you can never improve unless that's self-awareness. Yeah, you can never improve unless you know what you what you doing wrong. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's the first step. That's the first step in improvement. You know, you got to know what you're doing wrong. You got to evaluate yourself like you're not you. You know, a lot of people got too much pride. They don't want to admit that they they do this wrong or they don't want to admit that they uh got this wrong with themselves. You know what I'm saying? I know me. You know what I'm saying? I know what I got wrong with myself. And I know I ain't going to change overnight. I know it's a process. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I probably ain't never going to be perfect, but I'm going to always be improving. I'm, I could be 75. You know what I'm saying? I'm still going to be trying to improve myself. You know, and that's just, I feel like that's just the, um, the, just the, the, I don't, I don't know the word for it, but that's just what you got to realize. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't never, I don't care how old you is, you ain't never going to be perfect. You know, that's what something my grandfather told me too. You know what I'm saying? He He's 65 and he still got stuff he's still in, trying to improve about himself. You know what I'm saying? So a, a lot of people, they don't want to accept. Like a lot of people, they, they'll get offended if you tell them something wrong about mm-hmm. themselves. But it's like, bro, I don't, I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how good you're doing in life. It's always something you can improve. And as long as you know that, you on a, you're on a good path. Definitely. Go ahead. Um, I think on the on the music level, I'd probably say like, don't let yourself get sucked into what we know as the industry. You feel me? Like music ain't nothing more than a creative space. Oh yeah, I was talking about life too. I wasn't talking about no music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> music music is nothing more than a creative space. So you really just expressing yourself. You feel me? Whether it be on the mic, your podcast, whatever it is, you really just expressing yourself. So just stay. You know, true to that, just express yourself, and anything else gonna come. On a personal level, it's just like it's easier to talk about what's really going on. So just talk about what your life is. You know what I mean, it only get hard when you start capping, because <laughs> then you gotta live up to that. Yeah, when you start capping, boy, you better you better stand on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if you say you gangster and then somebody play with you, you get smacked out your career over. You know, you know what I'm saying? Real quick. Yeah, real quick. All right, I know. Right. You, uh, go ahead, uh, Arnold, with your questions before we uh, wrap it up. Who's y'all Mount Rushmore the DMV? Or the DMV? Artist. Ooh. Ooh. Artist? All right. I'm going to be cocky and put myself right there. <laughs> <laughs> Throw my boy in there. Throw my boy put in there. Put myself it. right there. It's five people, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Boom. Leak no MF stalling. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> put me right there. Then Big Flop. He the GOAT. Two. He the GOAT in me, in my eyes. Fat Trail. Three. Yes, sir. They free the real. I was waiting for somebody to say that. They free the real. Fat Trail right there, because he OC. Who the better lyricist? Trail or Flop? Flop. Trail. 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 Yeah. Trail. 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 Because I think Trail more transparent. Okay. Flop got bars. Yeah. yeah. But I be trying to tell him, like, speak that Flock life. Flop got like, wordplay. You know be more, be more, be more um, relatable. Flock got bars where to the point where little kids don't even know what he's talking about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, wrap your head. So it's like, on. Hold on, what it is. So I'm gonna saying? give it a trail with the more with the you know who more lyrical. Okay. So boom, it's me. <laughs> trail flop, shock Lizzy. Okay. Uh, and that last person, I'm gonna give it a cue to fool. Fine. He really had an OC OC okay. run. Okay. I'm sorry, and I and I I'm biased. I don't want to say I don't like Wale, but he cried too much about the city love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't put Wale in the five, but you know Wale is an honorable mention. Yeah. Cause he, cause he showed love to his. Yeah. But I can't put him in there. But I'm gonna put you the fool and skill wise. What about Logic? Yeah. Nah. I think it's hard to. <laughs> <laughs> this this guy. <laughs> oh brother. <laughs> <laughs> so just coming out of the DMV period, though, does, does Logic get his flowers? 
Nah. I mean, he not top I didn't know lie. I didn't know Logic was from the DMV. Top ten. I did. I did. He Yeah, he from Mo County. Logic get his flowers for real, but I want to put him in my rush. He, he in top ten. Yeah, yeah. He get his he get he yeah. he get his flowers for yeah. real. Yeah. Like it's yeah. it's not it's not many artists that's messing with him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least from the DMV, I don't think anybody. For sure. Yeah, he's really Mine is definitely like a more outside perspective, so to speak. But um, I think y'all have that opinion opinion on Wale because y'all from here. All right, you so then give I'm us saying? give us the uh, could, top five could, from you from I your from your Wale place. In oh, I mean either either or I could chef some up from here. Or, oh or, yeah, or do, from yeah, yeah, do both because you know you the, you know everybody here from the DMV. Since yeah. you from the outside looking in, we're gonna have you do both. Even from 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 here, I think you gotta put Wale because. As far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know, he was the first one to break mainstream. You get what yeah. I'm saying? He was the first one to break mainstream. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to let bro finish. <laughs> I go Wale. I got to put Shy in there. Um, he going to be a great. He going to be one of them people. Leak. Leak no stalling. Um, Leak no MF stalling. <laughs> <laughs> I think Trail got to be in there because he, he really the people's people. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Nah, he, trail, the, he on the ground. He on the ground. You get what I'm saying. Ain't no, ain't, ain't, ain't no cutting, no fake with him. You get what I'm saying. He on the ground. You gonna ain't see no change real. Of it. He gonna he gonna rap about what he went rap about. Yeah, okay. sure. like he can't time he do. He gonna be trail. Yeah, he gonna be trail. I love it. I love it. And he don't miss when he come out. It don't. Um, I think, I definitely think just off lyrical ability and rap ability, I would put Flock in there. But I think, um, I think. Him growing to a new space is gonna put him in it. Mm. Him growing right. to a new space, he gonna he, he gonna take one more big step. He definitely dominating in the club. All yeah, his yeah, music yeah. is in the club. Yeah, you can't deny him. You can't deny him. He gonna put it in your face. He bringing the energy, the balls, everything. You know, I think he just gotta seal that package. He's new. What about Swipey? I was gonna say that after he was done. I was gonna. I was gonna honorable say mention. Swipey was gonna be a oh goat. Oh my goodness. Swipey was gonna he's be in my Mount Rushmore. serious. Yes, oh, Mount Rushmore? Yeah, he's on oh, the DMV. Oh, the DMV. Hey, look, sad to say, sad to say, he went. He he went too early. Yeah, he did. He went too early to be on Mount Rushmore. But his body of work that he left. And what we knew what he was gonna do after that. Oh, I only was, he was around. Gonna be, for he was gonna, gonna be a while some more. Yeah. He was gonna be in Mount Rushmore for sure. I was only around for a little bit of this time, but I think we gotta say R.I.P. Fame because he was literally yes. crazy. He's, he's on there. He's on my. Fame was also he's crazy. He's, he's on crazy. my. He's Especially on my for, and we was young. This was before we was rapping. Well, you know exactly. what I'm saying? He, and the features he was bringing other people that we never seen before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna hold you. Get him flowers. I didn't see music that ain't never gonna be out ever. That fame they got. I don't even want to hear that because my feelings is hurt. Yeah, like <laughs> fame. I was telling people fame was better than Drake. Yeah, he was. Oh, yeah. Really? I was telling he people really fame was, was better he, than he Drake. That, we dropped that mixtape when we was in middle school. Streets was yeah. crazy. She was, she's, you know hey, that's what, was what made me want crazy. rap. That's what made me want rap. I ain't gonna hold you. Fame reek made me want rap because I'm like, I ain't never seen nobody get love like that. And I'm and like, especially he was doing something. He was doing that, like, that trap rap. soul. Like that singing on a record before anybody else was doing it for real. He was on song. That, I, yeah, like that, yeah, that, that, that auto tuning song. and all that that he was doing that was ahead of his time because we wasn't hearing that when he first. And he was still that. rapping though. He, he was still, still had rapping, bars right. like definitely rapping. You know what I'm saying. I was just like I, when I heard I said, and that was back when Lil Dirk wasn't even on that. Like exactly. he was really. On that, like, but we talking about ball headed dirt for the for the youngest that don't know. We talking about <laughs> ball headed dirt. Yeah, yeah. the waves. <laughs> this ain't what you want. <laughs> yeah, this, this ain't, ain't what you want. want. Like dirt. for real, he wasn't on no India stuff back None when Fame was on that type of vibe. Like yeah, you know they, they remember from the my Beyonce. They, 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 the youngest came with my Beyonce and all that. Yeah, my Beyonce. <laughs> I don't like that dirt. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that dirt. So you say you're from New York. You say you're from New York, right? Yeah, Brooklyn. So Brooklyn in the house. Well, I guess it's more so kind of directed to like the Bronx. I know right now like Bronx drill is on the rise and everything yeah. like that. Bronx got what? <laughs> Brooklyn. Top. And let me just you add that. that that New York. Shout out Moy Briscoe, yeah, man. I, Shout out Moy Briscoe. Hey, y'all don't even know, man. Leak really half from New York, man. That's he my don't second be, home. He'll okay. be trying to tell you. But I claim New York. I mean, I claim Maryland because I went to school here, and, okay. and in my head, you from where you went to school. Yeah, definitely. You know, but in my whole life, I was going to school here. Going in summer in New York. Cause my father from New York. He from Flatbush. Okay. Uh, Beverly Road. You know okay. what I'm saying? You know what I'm about? Right, New York in the house. Yeah, yeah but 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 I'm from Maryland though. Okay. Yeah. He, he a PG. He a PG soul. I'm for PG sure. soul. He a PG soul. Yeah. You know I'm about? He fit in. He fit right in though. Like he said, he got he got mad love. Even when yeah. I was you know back home going to school, like I had a bro who really came up to me. Like you know SoundCloud was busting back mm -hmm. then. He like yeah, this leak no stalling. 
I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah. I'm like, bro, that's my man. <laughs> he like, nah, son, come on, bro. like for real. Bro. I'm like, bro, you want me to call him? <laughs> you, you remember? Like, they be, and he be like, yeah, dead. You dead, you know, man. Man. <laughs> you know? You nah, and bro, saying. a real one, cause like at the at the middle school, we just like we just like went to different schools, and he went back out the out the town, and I stayed here. So, but but he bro always kept he always kept in touch. He always he always made sure he talked to him. He always made sure he showed his love. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm so close to him because it's like that type stuff always stick with me because it's like through my worst times, bro, all, I got out of it because of my friends. You know what I'm saying? I got out of it because of the love I had, the relationships I kept. You know what I'm that's saying? Right. And, he, and he definitely one of them, you know? He definitely one of the person who always gave me somewhere to stay if he was around. Right. He always gave me something to eat if I couldn't get something to eat. He always, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Hold on to those. Yeah, you know gotcha. what I'm saying? And that's why I'm always so... uh I'm always so um uh I want I think the word genuine appreciative appreciative, appreciative, yeah, yeah, appreciative, yeah, genuine, appreciative to genuine, my to my sure. folks you know I'm and I always you know give my heart out to them people because it's like in your worst moments all you got is the love that that you know all you got is your word all you got is your character all sure. you got is people who love you and then you know I, I ain't never been a, a slime you know. I mean, I ain't never been a snake. I'm slime, but I, I, I ain't never been a snake, though, because I, I ain't going to snake nobody who think I love them. Because if I tell you I love you, For I sure. love you. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so before we start getting to the exclusive and what's coming up next, you got to give us your top five of Brooklyn. Ooh. Top five of Brooklyn. I man. can give a top five of Brooklyn next, too. All right, I'm, um, I'm really going to shine a lot of light on, like, the younger cats. I'm going to leave the old heads out of this for now. Um, 22 G's. 22 G's for sure. He had a big impact. You feel me? Oh Lord! If you wasn't, they ain't gonna lie. Shannon up in here. I'm look, only. I, I my can, man, I my can man say this addicted because, to 22 G's. I can say this because he you like know, that. 2014, 2015, before before people knew what was going on in New York and Brooklyn, we was really, you know, he was really outside. He was really making the headway, and you gotta get people. You gotta put it out there for people to even start, you know, coming out. So a lot of that dissing, a lot of that disrespectful rap. He's the first one to really jump out. Oh there yeah, like I've heard, I've um, heard it. I heard that um um the um shoot the suburban freestyle. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It was it was it was, I was millions of views behind that, millions of rappers that came up behind that. But um, I, I think you'd be lying if you saying Pop Smoke is not in there. Pop mm -hmm. Smoke, you he took he, he took that he took he took our our life so to speak and, and took it international. That sound Pop Smoke he took that international. His swag on You get what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. He from he from the same he from the same he from the nineties he from the nineties yeah yeah the 90s that joint I ain't gonna lie the, I ain't gonna lie it's about come from. I ain't gonna lie it's about five minutes from my hood Star yeah. City Brooklyn New York yeah. but um ninety shout out to the nineties I fucking um, my bad grandma that's the second grandma. time shout out grandma again shout out grandma <laughs> <laughs> now, um, <laughs> you know <laughs> you know it's definitely some um so you gotta put pops I'm gonna be like I ain't gonna be eating no dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that cuss that you've been doing up there. You ain't no dinner tonight. Yeah, man. You got you to gotta put him in there. Just, you know, you got to put him in there for the influence and what he did for put the light on it. It was a light on it, and then he shined it right back on it. You get what I'm saying? Um, I'll say. Lil TJ. You oh, know, you said I Brooklyn. Was, yeah, from Brooklyn. Let's just now, say New only York. Brooklyn. Now you gotta say New York. Right. You gotta, you, you gotta, gotta say, say New York. York. All right, New York. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Next though, next though is definitely TJ. Boogie. Oh, next is Boogie. Nah, Boogie. A Boogie. Okay. You gotta understand, like, I'm, I'm gonna get mine. I'm gonna let him a Boogie go. was a recipe put together. He definitely got influences from other places, in my opinion. But nobody was okay, as far as New York, at least, in my opinion, nobody was okay with. Being close, like, you know, being being soft, so to speak, in your music. Yeah. Nobody was okay with being in love with your girl, you get what I'm saying? And talk about her breaking your heart. Like, oh, nobody man. was okay with that before. And he Ooh. was, you know, making it making it swaggy. He didn't come out on Gangsta Time, you get what I'm saying? He came out talking about his feelings. And he and slept on, too. Super Very slept on. Super on. talented. Super talented. Um, I think you could put TJ in there because... He talented. He talented for sure, but I don't think he did enough yet. He yeah. reminded me of the, like the A Boogie kind of formula. That, and, and that's what I was going to say. You, yeah. feel me? you can't really put him you know, up there because he ain't past Boogie. But what was that, four? That was four? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was about four. Um, probably other than that, one that you know really slept on and he'll get his flowers as much as he could. Well, I could split this in the middle. I'd probably say either 
ASAP or mm. Joey Badass? Part of my language. Okay. Joey from my hood. Word. Joey from my hood. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, I've heard too many people uh, give flowers to Joey. Yeah, Joey, Joey, Joey yeah, a real made, guy, he he a real it, good he made guy this transition too. Transition into uh, acting and stuff like and, that. And, and what I was exactly going to say, based right off of what you're saying, is in my eyes, Joey didn't get the flowers. He, you know, he was very understanding of his situation. He didn't get the flowers he deserved. He took the success that he had from music and went somewhere else. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I'm sure he still make music, but he, power. he kept Joey, going. And a lot of people from the town. <laughs> not able to keep going you get stuck in a in a bubble in a bubble and you just you can't move a lot of people don't want to move you know what i'm saying so he definitely he should be getting more flowers than he do for sure he's not better in your opinion though. better it's i'm gonna say so you said i'm gonna be honest joey i'm gonna be honest Berg or rocky okay. if you're talking rocky. about music if you're talking about lyrics asap ferg over eight. Okay. Bird got yeah. bars. Bird yeah. got if you, bars. If, if the track that Trap Lord, that first album that he dropped, was definitely it's straight bars. But in my opinion, nobody is as creative as Rocky and fluent. Like Rocky put it on, however he put it on. This, I'm Rocky. You get what I'm saying? He, he always he wore that brother. just like that, right? He, he, he always brother. he always wore it just like that. So I think he he made a lot. He made a lane for people who wasn't you know necessarily talking a certain talk. Mm-hmm. He came from a different walk of life, and he still, you know, held his own. Mm. I mean, so yeah, there you go, right okay, there. I, li- I like that. I like that. <laughs> there you go. And I like how you talked. You said Joey, right? So I got a question for both of y'all. Uh, my last question before we talk about what's coming up next. What is one thing y'all want to do outside of rap, or was a couple things y'all want to do outside right, of rap? Let me tell you something. I got a couple movies written in my uh, laptop. Okay. And when I drive, writer, I'm writer or director? I got a writer. Feet. I'm okay. way better than than Fifty Cent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm way better than Fifty Cent. When I, I, I just gotta get the money to back it, cause I don't want to drop no like bootleg stuff. You know what I'm saying? My stuff gotta be on some power level. But when I, my, when I tell you my life a movie, I, I can't even tell you everything that's really going on. And you know, you know what I'm saying? My, but like, yeah, I'm gonna drop movies. Okay, so I'm gonna drop you. movies on my life, and I'm gonna make stuff up because you know, I got that. I got that. Uh, you know, I got too much DC in me, and too much water in me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but yeah, you get the point. Like you know, what I'm saying, I got I got that mind. That Grandma, you talking about Dasani water? Dasani water. <laughs> that's what it, that's what it, I got too much Dasani in me. <laughs> but uh, I really, I really got that mind for movies. Like you know, what I'm saying, all I need is somebody to write it for me, write the script. Man. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to be on after rap. I'm trying to be on movies. I'm trying to be on real estate. My mother, a real estate agent. Okay. You know, so, you know, before rapping and anything, my first dream was being a real estate agent. So yeah. it's like I'm gonna be in real estate too. They gonna bring that up in 20 years. Like, remember you said you was gonna be a real estate agent, Lee? And my <laughs> son, and I'm gonna have a kid. That's my biggest dream. You know, if I don't have no kid in life, I didn't succeed. I don't care how much money I made. If I don't have no kid, I ain't, I ain't succeed. Mm. So it's boom. When I have a kid, he gonna be a legend, you know, because I'm a legend. But you know, my kid gonna be times ten. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't seen nothing lit. You know what I'm saying? My kid, whether it's a girl or boy, he gonna be she she or he gonna be legendary. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, boom, so movies and kids. Movies and kids. Movies and kids. <laughs> movies and yeah, kids. If we had a camera rolling around with us all day, like getting our conversations, oh man, we'd have had a we'd have had a reality. I ain't gonna see me and Snoop, <laughs> man. We talk about the future about. Twice a day. Twice a day. <laughs> if, like if his hours. phone dead, maybe twice. Yeah, Might like, be three. Like, I be at work. He be I at work. Off, he be I like, yo, you got to call me back, bro. Yeah, you I step <laughs> off just to talk about what we got planned. You know what I'm saying? F my job. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a job, too. Let me tell the people that ain't nothing wrong with a job. A lot of people Nothing. think that, like, if you want to be a rapper, you got to do this and you got to do that. Nah, bro. Like, Man, keep hustling. A, a rapper, I mean, rap costs money. Yeah, you definitely know what I'm do. saying? Cause money, so whatever work, you know what I'm saying? I ain't against the streets, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to tell nobody to do that, you know what I'm saying? Because the better way is to get a job. Get a job and to use your money to fund your dreams, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. But it's like, don't think that you got to you gotta be in the streets to be a rapper, Right. you know what I'm saying? Or don't think you only got to be in the streets to be a rapper. You know, your only, your only, uh, the only must is to, you got to have some money. 
I'm saying money, with no money, yeah, yeah, the money, with no money, you can't be nothing. I don't care how good you is. It's 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 a it's a billion people. It's a billion people with money that can rap good. You know, you go to New York, it's gonna be people outside of Madison Square Garden who can freestyle for three hours. Nah, for real. But they don't got no money. No, ain't nobody gonna know them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you gotta have some money. So if if you gotta have a job, if you gotta cut grass. If you got to go do this, do that, you know, don't let your pride stop you from getting money because you're going to need money to fund your dream. You know what I'm saying? I, like I got a job. In other words, he said having a nine to five is cool. Having a nine ladies, to five is cool. Ladies, right. you hear that. And look, yeah. more, no, no, more importantly, you're in first hit, ladies. Don't more let importantly. no girl tell you what, 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 what to do. Thank you. Know you. What I'm saying? Because a girl going to do what she wants you to do. She's going to tell you what she wants you to do. She ain't going to tell you what, what should be happening. You know what I'm saying? So so don't let no girl. If a girl got a bad mindset on life, then she not the girl for you. You know, you can wait till you lit. You know what I'm saying? Wait till you lit. You get dirt up. Do what you want to do with that girl. And you should know that's that's not the girl for you. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't let girls tell you what what how to be a man. Cause a man because the main thing about being a man is you gotta do what you gotta do. So if you gotta get a job, if you gotta cut grass, if you gotta go clean your mother f- garage. If you gotta do whatever, right. not only you gotta it, have some money. Just, it ain't just cool; it's smart. It's right. smart. At the end of the day, you gonna fall victim. You can Boom. believe it or not believe it. Whether you choose to pay a lot of bosses been you. workers before they was bosses. Been workers. Right. You can't you be a boss saying? without being a worker. At exactly. Mm. So it's like, bro, a lot of people let out. Twitter and stuff let let them. You know what I'm saying? Don't right. listen to that. You know what I'm saying? You got it. You got to do what you got to do. No matter. No matter if you want to. No matter if if that's your means to an end, yeah, definitely. Right. Boom. Means you, to sometimes end. you gotta be uncomfortable, uncomfortable to get to where you want to be. Yeah, right. you know what I'm saying. Cause be boom, adaptable. I ain't they, they tell you I ain't no employee. You know my manager will tell you I ain't no employee. <laughs> a lot of y'all leak call me every other day like, bro, when we blow up, oh, I'm, I'm quitting. Quit. This. I'm quitting, bro. I'm quitting. <laughs> you are like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm still me, but it's like I would do what, what it takes because I know I'm legendary. I know if I get this done, I can change the lives of a lot of people in my life, right. and that's the most important thing to me. Okay, you I like that. Saying? I like Definitely. that. So, what's one thing that you would do uh, outside, outside of uh, hip hop? To be told, I was I'm before music. Like I said, I just came into music. You know, in in the summertime, really June of this year. I've been behind the scenes doing a lot of other stuff. Like I'm into stocks. I've been into properties. I've been into trucking. You okay. get what I'm saying? So I've been, so to speak, on a on a on an entrepreneur business mindset. I was always just trying to get my bros to lock in doing something. I was always, I was always just trying to get the bros to lock in. Like I never had a, a a thing to do for myself, so to speak. I never had a thing to do for myself, so to speak. So yeah. I never really had a thing to do for myself, so to speak. So um, I always was just kind of trying to put a, put money behind the bros, put you know, get something to get off the ground. Now it's music. So um, but other than that, um, really just fund more businesses, bro. Fund more businesses. Um, double back, <laughs> double back on real estate with a with a real big bag this time. Um, I'm still in the trucking right now, so that's that's pretty much just continue to continue to grow, bro. Like music ain't a cap for me. I wasn't originally in love with music, so. It was more so about the business behind the truth be told. Um, but I tell bro all the time, we make a million off rap, bro, we'll never be broke again, bro. Like, like we it, already like had it. the mind to get it busy, you know? Now we just need the capital. That's all. Now, Lord knows I could talk all during night long, <laughs> you know? You talk about, we can talk about stars, you know? We ain't even getting the shorties yet, but yeah. I want to, I wanna, uh, before we wrap up, I want to talk about any upcoming singles, projects, anything that y'all got planned? Oh yeah, I'm about to drop No Fear too. I don't got no no date, but really, I'm about to drop videos until they ask for it. You okay. know what I'm saying? Cause you know, excuse me. But yeah, like in the past, I always just drop stuff, you know, hoping they blow up. But now, I realize it's a process to rap. You know, you got to get their attention before. They asked for it, so it's like I'm about to I'm about to flood y'all, and then the moment y'all ask for it, y'all gonna get the best tape I ever got, and then after that, y'all gonna get the best tape I ever got, and then after that, y'all gonna get the best tape I ever had. You know what <laughs> I'm saying? Right. We gonna keep improving, okay. you know. And I got artists, you know, boom, to the point where it's not my artist, cause I'm, if you my friend, I can't sign you, you know, cause I don't wanna make no money off you, cause it's like once business mixed with friendship, it can ruin the friendship, and I'd rather have a friendship, so boom. With this man right here, it's like 
I ain't never gonna sign him to the point where I I'm making money off him. But it's like he gonna come up with me. Yeah, off some like Wu Tang. Boom. So it's like, boom. After after y'all see me, y'all gonna see him. After y'all see him, y'all gonna see him. After y'all gonna see them at the like probably simultaneously. Mm. It's like y'all gonna see that we all on. We we all trying to show y'all we different. Like we about to show we about to show a different side of the DMV. Oh PG County. Let me say that because it's, it's specific. We all from PG County. Everybody in this room came from PG County. Yes, even sir. this man, even though he tried co- he, <laughs> <laughs> in Brooklyn, I got, I he got, got PG roots. County in him. I got yeah, he got roots. PG County in him. You know, shout shout out like, flowers. I really feel like PG <laughs> County is one of the ones in whatever you talk about in, in photography and music and basketball and football. Like PG County is really one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? It's something in the water. And it's I think a lot of people they so ashamed. Artists, I know a lot of artists. I ain't gonna even. Stand on them. But I know a lot of you got, wait, 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 wait. You got your arm. You got your arm. You turned your mic off. I did. Yeah. There you go. Hello. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of artists. So boom, it's a lot of artists in the PG County who like they ashamed to claim that stuff. Like I know a lot of artists who say they DC artists, and I'm like, bro, you went to my school. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How you from DC? Like you know what I'm saying? You from Maryland? You know what I'm saying? So they ashamed to, to, to claim Maryland because it's so cool to be from D.C. Or oh, a lot of people from the outside world looking look, looking in, they'll call a Maryland artist a D.C. artist. And it's, yeah. it's different. You know, like we got ties to each other, but it's different. You know, D.C. artist is different from a Maryland artist. Definitely is. Right. So it's like, boom, I'm just trying to shine light on PG because we really one of them ones. You know what I'm saying? We really different. You know what I'm saying? It's really different than the... Uh, I just feel like we legendary for real. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I just want, I just want, I just want to start the habit of being, being proud of where you from, no matter where you from. You for know sure. what I'm saying? Like I'm from Bowie, Maryland. You know yeah, what I'm saying? drop a bomb for that because I am too. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'm from Bowie, Maryland, and it's, it's like a lot of people be ashamed to claim Bowie, Maryland because of. Cause it, it's a good area, you know what I'm saying? It's one of the richest black areas in in the um, in Maryland, in, in the, the in the country, and right? I, in, in, the, in the country, boom. Yeah. So it's like boom. I don't act no way. I don't act no specific way by myself. You know what I'm saying? I don't act no specific way than how I was raised and how my my friends. Cause a lot of a lot of um, traits I get is how. I was raised. It's like these are how my cousins raised me. These are how my friends raised me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like your address, your address don't mean nothing. Cause you, you still drag you from Bowie. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm talking like, about. You know, so it's still like dragging. you could be from the hardest area in the world and be a sucker. Pip squeak. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you could be a sucker from the hardest area in the world. Your address don't mean nothing. A lot of people try to be like, yo, I'm from this place. I'm from that place. I don't care. You gotta show me you a man. You know what I'm saying? You gotta show me you a man. You gotta show me you was raised right. You gotta show me you got morals and principles. I don't sure. care what your address is. But if you ask me, I'm I'm from Bowie, Maryland. Now, if you wanna if you wanna question my my character because I'm because of where I'm from, you gotta you gotta prove that. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I'm more of a man than the majority of people just because of uh off of absorb uh, observing people. You know what I'm saying? So that's really what I'm trying to give off. It's like, bro, just be yourself. Your address don't mean nothing. Be your, yourself. Your, your pockets don't mean nothing. What you done did in the world don't mean nothing. But if you a man, if you if you got principles, if you stand on what you say you stand on, boom, you a man. If you, like you know what I'm saying, if you a if you not a gangster but you don't act like a gangster, guess what? You a man because you know why you don't you don't act like a gangster. That's why like like with Meek Mill and that little Drake beef, mm. it, it threw me off because like Drake Meek Mill was no treating Drake like he a gangster, all. but like Drake don't act like a gangster. You know what I'm saying? All. He don't act like a gangster, so why you trying to put that on him? And still lost. Yeah, it's still lost. It's like, <laughs> boom. So whatever you give off, whatever you give off, just stand on that. You know what I'm saying? If you a lover boy, stand on that. You know, if you a gangster, stand on that. If, if you this, if you that, stand on that. You know what I'm saying? Your address don't mean nothing to me. You know, I don't get, like, the only, re- the only requirement to being leak friend is you just got to be whatever you stand on. You know, whatever you tell me you is, be, on, be that. You know what I'm saying? All right, so what about you? What's, what's uh, some upcoming projects and singles? What you got? What you got up in the... Uh... Right now, we're in the uh, promotion stage, but I okay. just dropped a um, six-song project called This Is Me. It's out on all platforms. Okay. Um, really, and a lot of people don't know, those was really the first couple times. I made six, those six songs in two sessions. First times I was ever in the booth. Um, we won 91 in the U.S. Uh, oh, it's just okay. off pre-orders. We're just off pre-orders. 
So, a lot of good work. <laughs> yeah, 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 for, sure. That one. <laughs> nah, for sure, for sure. This is me out on all platforms. Um, we're in the studio working. Like, like I said, bro is like the wing. Like he he rapping, he'll be done, and then come over there and help us. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just really, he been doing it. He he understand what the music is. So it's just you know we we in the studio. We locked in. Y'all we locked think y'all in. Y'all gonna ever do a tape together? Uh, uh, he stop ducking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, it's it's definitely coming. I when y'all ninety percent of my songs, I only do with my man. Okay, he ain't lying. He don't want to do no songs with nobody. Nah, cause I want the vibe to be right. Mm-hmm. If a person doing it, cause you giving them five hundred or thousand dollars, they gonna do anything. But if they do it, cause you know they respect your craft. Y'all gonna make some good music, yeah, and that's and all I going, care about. Y'all I don't care about popular. Y'all, y'all gonna try to build off each other too. Exactly, sure. exactly. It's like boom. Don't get me wrong. It's some people I would pay for, you know, just because of my competitive nature. I, I pay for it just to show you I'm better than you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's the Kobe in me though. But it's like a lot of people in, in local is like boom. If you ain't messing with me, we don't got new music. You know, you could be my competitor. You know what I'm saying? I'm good with that. You know, and if you ever feel like you want to mess with me hit me up because i don't take nothing personal you know what i'm saying i don't take nothing personal if you if you ain't want to do music with me it's because you ain't mess with my music so my job is to get better so you can mess with my music mm, i don't right. take i don't really take nothing personal for real. okay and where can the fans come and find y'all where can we find the music how can we find y'all social medias how can we get in contact with y'all first, so you could go finish. i'm uh i'm leaked on stalling on just about everything i'm leaked on stalling on ig on YouTube, see on Twitter, I'm leaked live forever, uh, with two A's, uh, forever, as in like, F O R E V A, with two A's. You know what I'm saying? But everything else li- leaked no stalling. I ain't never gonna change my name because uh, that's a part of my story. You know what I'm saying? I'm not no no stalling no more. You know I'm still cool with no stalling, but I'm not no stalling. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm I'm live forever. I'm live forever in one U G. Uh, one UG is one up gang. That's my uh, that's my brother brand. But you know, I love my brother so much. Is you know, it's a part of me. So it's like I'm live forever in one UG. You know what I'm saying? So boom, I'm not no stalling no more. But it's a part of my story to the point where I ain't changing it. I probably change it if I'm famous. Famous, I probably just be leaked. But right now, I'm leaked no stalling f- for a minute. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So you could probably find me wherever I'm leaked, leaked no stalling. Or leak live forever if that don't, that don't work. Yeah, um, I'm on YouTube, Wavy Snoop Official, Apple Music, Spotify, Title, Wavy Snoop, one word, W A V E Y S N O O P. Um, you could get me on the gram, Wavy underscore Snoop. Um, this is me out on all platforms now. Live forever, Godson Records be coming. Yes, yeah, sir. You rocking with the what? The hottest, the latest HBC. Hey, can, can I shout out some? Artists? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, shout them out. I want to shout out. Yo to yo, y'all gonna hear these people on my on my projects or they projects. Yo to yo, my man fresh out. He just got out probably like a year ago. This is the longest he been out since fourteen. You know, this is the longest he been free Shout since fourteen. I like like I'm so proud of him because it's like his mindset been so different than since he been out. It's like he trying to grow. He not trying to go back to jail. You Shout know what I'm saying? Yo to yo, man. And, I, and I love that because you know if you know a lot of a lot of people, it's hard to get out that mindset of the streets for real. And you know my man really trying to be bigger than that, so so it's like yo to yo, old dog with the glick, um, you know we got Q Drago, we got we got uh, Wavy Snoop, uh, we got you know my man up in them clouds. What's your rap name, bro? Is this C- what, what's your rap name, bro? CZ. Yeah. All right, my man right here. Hey, look, you know, he, he a cameraman. He, he a hey, famous look. one too. You see him? You can see him a lot on Twitter. On lot on Twitter. Yeah. People don't know he an artist too. You know, he he's just, he just in the lab. You know what I'm saying? So boom, up CG up in the clouds, whatever you want to call him, you gonna see. Boom, my boy uh, Caesar. That's the part. That, that's my that's my brother who made uh, one UG. He'll be a real right now, but he on house arrest right now. You know what I'm saying? So he listening though. I sent him the link. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He listening yeah, right now. <laughs> so boom. He in the studio with us. He in the I got a lot of people. It's like I don't even want. I wouldn't even care about being famous if it wasn't for these people. You know what I'm saying? The whole reason I got this dream is because I want to live. I want you know I. Got, I want to be in that, that 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 atmosphere with my brothers because you know, I was I was low with my brothers, so. Uh, I'm probably missing a couple. Y'all already know Big Flock, so I ain't gonna say him. Uh, 
I'm probably missing a couple, but I I, I name my most important. Okay. Uh, shout out, shout out, my boy Buck. You know, what I'm saying my man don't even rap, but I love that man. <laughs> <laughs> no cap, my man don't even rap, but I love Buck. Uh, old DMV man, shout old out to DMV, DMV bro. Shout I love nah, whole PG County. Yeah, shout out PG County. I really got PG County on my back. Like people don't even know, it's like if you from PG County and you hot, I'm not gonna charge you for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Cause you you coming up with me, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna charge you for nothing. You from PG County and you hot, mind you, emphasis on you hot. So don't think you can just send me something that's trash and I'm gonna do something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but like if you from PG County and you hot. I'm not charging you for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because PG County really on my back. I feel like, I feel like, uh, like I said before, we legendary. So it's like, yeah, I just want, I just want to put some emphasis on them, them specific artists. And uh, yeah, it's love forever. Yeah, build that support for real. Love. Yeah, definitely. Love. And you rocking with the what? The who? The latest HBCU yeah, for sure. This the <laughs> hey for for first interview, huh? Hey, hey, hey. We, we just did our thing, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. You, 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 rocking with, you rocking with the best. Oh, God. Always number one, never number two. Oh, I don't care what none of y'all say. Tell the, bro, tell the broke brothers go home, because why are the good money brothers is here? <laughs> yeah, we ain't wait no broke energy over here, you feel me? I'm telling and you. And I'm going to really send you some I'm gonna oh, really yeah, send some unreleased out there. I'm going to send you some unreleased out there. Oh, God, I'm going to really send you some unreleased out there. I done made my best song ever. I ain't going to tell you. I'm going to send it to you, though. I'm going to send it to you. I done made my best song ever the other day. I just want to say, shout out to y'all. I like y'all mindset. I like how, how y'all think. I like how y'all move as a team. Y'all mm-hmm. really solid. The loyalty is there and things of that nature. Sure. I like how you talked about, like, you're into, like, properties. You're into stocks and things of that nature. So it sounds like y'all going to go far, and I wish y'all the best. Like, everything you. that you love, do, love, everything love, that you're trying love. to do, just keep working, stay together. Y'all got it for sure. Love. I want to see you on mainstream. Yeah, bro. we just got to be consistent. That's the only <laughs> thing. All That's with anybody. Say, all I'm going to say is keep motivating the youth, bro. Keep Already, doing what man. you've been doing. Already. I tell you one thing, I'm gonna be consistent, and I, I gotta apologize for not being consistent. Yeah, for, 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 for. no, I'm gonna DM you. Yeah. Like, hey, Link, what you doing, bro? Yeah, Way I gotta follow me though, so I can tap in with y'all too, though. Because you know, I try to show love to everybody. I love, my, I love my area, man. I'm gonna hit you if you drop something. You wait two months later. I'm be like, what you doing, bro? <laughs> what you doing? This I love interview, that. you said you gonna keep continuing. Nah, what you doing? Sure. Hold me to my word. I gave you my word. You know, I'm a man of my word. I got you. And it's WBSU Bulldog Nation Radio streaming worldwide from your favorite HBCU, Bowie State University. Till next time.